enjoyed it. That was when I was reading through everything. Okay, now I've got to go back like this way. Ba 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 ba. Part of me misses. Just part of me uh, misses when WoW would kind of force you to level in like the zone that your level was for, if that makes sense. Like having to go from one area to the next based on like what level you were. I kind of like that. Yo, what is this secret little hideaway, huh? This is just tucked away on this mountain. Hello, Nose Dormu. Yeah, these these should come back. It'd be so epic. Imagine getting Thies in a raid with us. Imagine Thies raiding with us. <gasps> in the next current X pack raid. Mm. I wish I could adjust my XP rate to be slower for some of my alts. Slower. <clears throat> oh, like it's too fast now and you level up too quick. You don't get to finish the area. Started playing WoW when BC was current, but by the time I got to level 60 ish, Wrath came out and I liked the scenery so much better and the story. Yeah, that's fair. A lot of people liked Wrath. They go back later to Outland and finish all of the quests, but have no love of it. I still stay there. I'm probably going to turn my XP off on these Alliance alts. So, oh, so wait, so you stay at that level? Wait, can you do that? You can turn XP gain off? <gasps> There's a dragon glyph nearby. Hold up, let's find it. Where is it? Yeah, I thought so. Dang, we found three in the span of like 10 minutes. Granted, I haven't been to this area yet, so that makes sense. There's probably a bunch I missed, like throughout this whole area. Anchor alt for funsies. Our final meeting. This will be a delicate Our meeting. First. Allow me to do the talking. Focus on the now. Eternus clearly has something she wishes to impart on us. I am unsure where this con conversation will lead, but I trust Chromie. If she believes that Eternus can be swayed, I trust her judgment. When you are ready, I will see what she has to say. Another Eternus, I am honored you accepted our invitation. Honored? Accepted our invitation. Such formality. I oh, she's a I troll. Be surprised. It is no secret that our flights view our timeline differently. But I had hoped to meet to discuss peace between us. Peace? You have no idea what drives us, no Stormo. Why we embrace the infinite's ethos. Then help me understand. I seek to mend the rift between our peoples. Tell me, what was your reason, Eternus? My reason? My reason is more adorning. Am I supposed to be doing something? Ask about more, Dormy. Change is good. 
I'm tired of importance being ascribed to arbitrary events in the timeline. Remora Dormi is... was... my sister. She died at the hands of the Black Dragonflight. I wanted to save her. I was denied. Sometimes, moments in time must stay as they are for reasons that are not readily apparent. I have turned that moment over and over in my mind. There is nothing, not one reason why she should have been lost to me. <coughs> Hi, the realist. Okay. So the loss of her sister, Moradormi, is at the root of everything. Eternus intends to show us what has happened. I think she also seeks to change the past. Normally, I would not entertain this idea, but understanding the infinites is the only way forward. show me, Eternus. So be it. And if my sister can be saved, then you must concede that the infinites' point of view is valid. Grief. It hurts us all. And sometimes blinds us. But I hope, for what it is worth, that she is right. Zyron was online? Yo, what? Zy? I'm a little confused on what, like... This was probably a quest line that we should have followed before. To get the whole, like, lore. I don't know, I'm a little confused as to why we're here. And who this lady is. Hope you're having an awesome stream and a great night. Thank you. You too. I'm getting ready for some dinner soon, I think. About ready to heat up my leftover tofu curry and rice. Time rift. We're time traveling. Lady is you. <laughs> Apologies, Eternus. Please show us what you will uh, when you are ready. I have held time so you would not miss Mordormi's fate. When I let go, you will see my sister's pointless death. Okay. Time is set in sand, not stone. I can't move. Eternus, why did you time lock? Risk it. Me! I do not want them to interfere, yet. You are free now. Step forward to where the time fragments gather. Then I will unpause time and we will start. What if I want to go all the way up here? As always, on the Watch history unfold. There, it begins. That is Vexemia, one of the black dragons that fell into madness. I do not want to fight you, then you will be an easy kill. <laughs> Moradormi made her last stand here. That monster killed her. But it does not have to be that way. We can change the past and save her. All of Could it be possible to help Mora Dormi? On the surface, it may seem like we can, but I sense something is off here. Why was Vexemia chasing her? What will happen if Vexemia does not move on? I feel like we are missing something. You balance upon the cusp of what do you intend to change, Eternus? We should tread lightly here. I will do what I must, Nosdormu. Our Do you not agree that Moradormi can be saved? We infinites often save those we think suffered needlessly, worthy or not. Supposedly, Mori died too close to the caverns of time, just east of us. Using too much time, magic here could have consequences. But this should be quick. Chrono Lord Dios was in possession of the artifacts that could forcefully rewind time. The bronze dragonflight has them now. 
We will rewind time and then destroy Vaximia. Simple. May your possibilities be in Zdormo, can you you can easily rewind time. Time, can you not? Yes. Though I will use the Chrono Lord's artifact to reduce the pressure on the timeline. Join me. These sands will protect you from the forced rewind. I will get into position. So you choose to die fighting. Good for you, I guess. Sister, you're here. What is going on? I will explain later. We are here to help. Enough talk. Die, weaklings. This druid is with you. Please, aid me. Defend her. Okay. We're killing this big black dragon. This big black dragon's bad. Seemingly so. I have allies as well. I must resist. I am pausing time again. Oh, okay, gosh. See, I'm missing chunks of info. Okay. How is this outcome the same? I must reset. I am pausing time again. Oh, okay. So we get overrun by magic black dragons. That did not go as I had planned. But I will not give up. We can't just rewind again until we get it right. Or we can just rewind again until we get it right. We were overwhelmed by her companions. Mordormi was still killed. I need another strategy. One that will actually protect her. She is what matters. Go rewind time, including our actions. After the rewind, I will hold time in place. Then we can try to make defenses for her. Tell Norse Dormer to use the artifact to rewind again. There is a way. I know it. Eternus. We are trying again, those Dormu. Each attempt will create time fissures. That is one reason the bronze dragonflight does not meddle in this way. Be careful, risk it. But we can use the ambient energy of the fissure elementals to make a shield, yes! That is unethical. Time may flow like sand, but it can also be brittle as glass. The fissures... Do not tell me what I already know. I will do what I want, or I will do what I must for more, more adore me. <coughs> uh oh. -er. Quicken sand collected from timeline fractures. Yeah, this quest is very interesting. There's a lot of these fractures. Wait, I want to go out there. Can we go out there? I'm curious. Or are we stuck in here? Where are we? Are we in Uldemar? Whoa. That's crazy. Oh, wait. We're in Tanaris. They look so similar. Or Uldum. Uldum. Uldemar. Uldum. Goral Crater. I always get these bottom ones, these three, confused. Because, for one, these two both start with U. <coughs> but this is the one. Why is this still here? Why is this still an option to do assaults? all the way back from Legion, right? Or was that BFA? Silithus is Bugland. Silithus is the sword. 
What sword? Do they actually change the map to, to represent the, the sword, the tear, in Azeroth's flesh? <gasps> it's kind of kind of neat. Yeah, we are near the caverns of time, indeed. Patty, 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 patty. Thank you so much for the raid. Hi, patty friends. What's up? Hello. How's it going? Hey, we're playing some WoW. I'm trying to get caught up. It's been a little bit of like a chill WoW stream because I have this thing where I have to like. I have to read every quest. I'm, I'm a lore person, so I, I've, I've been reading quests and trying to catch up today because I want to play WoW, I really do, but to get to current content, I gotta get past the quests, otherwise it's just gonna bother me, you know? So, uh, so yeah, here we are. Wait, so what is- what did I say at first? Uldaman? What is Uldaman? That's a- that's another thing somewhere. What is that? Is that a- A raid from Legion? Is that what I'm thinking of? Or is that like a titan thing? It's a word that exists in the WoW universe. We need one more? Why does it not track? Yeah. Like, take this off. Stop tracking that. I don't care. Okay. Pour the sand into the hourglass I conjured. Come back with all four, or when all four are in place, and I will use them to shield her. <clears throat> I don't know her. This is gonna be crazy. She's here in Goldshire, Monka S. That should protect her. Let us wash and see. This is an exceptionally strong shield. It may withstand the attack. Do not patronize me. I know it will work. <coughs> All right. You cannot hide from me, little dragon. Vexima, please, we're friends. You have a shield, I see. Ha! I will boil the very sand below you and cook you inside of it. Damn. Oh, what do we have here? Bronze eggs. Ha ha! They can burn with you. Not again! And the eggs destroyed! No, no, no! I thought for sure it would work! How did you not see this coming? Ha! See? Uh oh. Uh -oh. Wait, why did she come out of the shield though? Why did she come out of the shield in the first place? What the heck? <clears throat> Coalescent Chaos, thank you for the penis. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Change is good. What else can we do? That was not any better. It, it was clearly even worse. I'm trying not to lose focus. What if we attacked again, or... We, will we just need to be stronger and faster. Eternus, I believe there is something important that you are missing. We cannot leave it like this. Not with the eggs also destroyed. I will come up with another idea. Restart time, and... <sighs> Perhaps I will listen to Nos Dormu. He keeps telling me I have missed something. Let time flow as it will, Eternus. There is something you must see. You expect me to do nothing whilst my sister dies? Please, Eternus. It is unpleasant, but indulge me just this once. What are we missing? But Morodormi Mor will die again. We need to act now. 
I will rewind time again myself. If this does not go as I foresee, do you expect something different from doing nothing? No, I cannot watch. I'm pausing. I need time to think. I hate that they can both control it. Time is set in sand, not stone. I may not have another good idea, but we should keep trying. Maybe something will change. I get to choose a saying. Please, just give Nosedorma's idea a chance. Well, your way hasn't worked so far. Make a very compelling and extensive argument to attempt to distract Eternus. <laughs> that... If we don't have time for this, fine, I will watch you if you stop speaking. Thank you. You cannot hide from me, little dragon. I do not want to fight you. We are friends. Then you will be an easy kill. Blah! She is dead again. Why did you make me watch this? Go to her, Eternus. What? Aww. She's going to get to say goodbye. My sister, I am sorry. Oh, the child, keep them safe. Child, things are not always what they seem. Come out, little one. You are safe now. There was a baby I'm dragon. Born during the confrontation with Vexemia, Morai Dormi knew if she did not distract her... Vexemia would have killed the whelp and destroyed the eggs. She died. My sister chose to die. For our future. She's Go on, get help. You can make it. You will make it. I... Let us leave this place. <laughs> Wait. Was it actually hatching? through all those playthroughs, do you think, on the side of the room? And we just didn't see it? Because that's kind of crazy, if so. Whoa, 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 we're not gonna murder the whelp! Our paths cross at last. Moradormi, the whelp, I see now. May your possibilities be infinite. Mordormi wanted the child to be safe, and the eggs. I must respect her choice. Oh, and yeah, now it's okay. I now that it was her choice. Part to play in this. <laughs> if we continue to look into the past, we miss out on the present, or even the future. Let us return to Theldrassus. Do not worry about these time fracture elements. They too will heal with time. As we all do. Will I will be with you momentarily. May you always walk the paths of time in our memory. Damn, what the fuck? This quest got me tearing up, bro. <laughs> That's kind of sad. Skin her. Dragon skin will make great, great armor. No! We're not gonna kill the whelpling. <laughs> Damn. What an emotional quest. Oh my god. Chromie? Oh, hello. Chromie speaks to you in hushed tones. So, how did it go? It's been a pleasure. Oh, frick. Oh my. I think there were options. I feel so sorry for Eternus. I hope she has finally found peace. Yeah, that's sad. Big sad. 
Kromi thinks for a moment and then smiles brightly, gives Eternus a simple nod as she sits down by her side. All that matters. We all learned something new today. Myself included. Time never stops teaching. It falls to all of us to always listen and learn. The one path. No storm, though. Are you going to tell me you were right? No. Because I was not. Marai Dormi's death was a tragedy. It should not have happened. I did not see the whole truth. My sister chose her fate. As a steward of this timeline, I must always take the greater good and the free will of others into account. But you <coughs> reminded me, Eternus, that compassion must be considered. Some events are worth changing because our hearts wish it so. On that, I agree with the Infinites. You never wish to become Morazont. I wanted my aspect, but I too must remember compassion. And it tells me to follow you just as you are. Wholesome! I will help you, but convincing the other infinites will take time. That, Eternus, we have in abundance. Ha! <laughs> Get it? Because they're time lords. <laughs> they're time dragons. Do I talk with you now? Are you just gone? Oh, okay. Oh, we have a lore master with us. Ooh. Ooh, how fancy. <laughs> oh, so a time lord. All right, I guess let's get to this one, this quest. So this looks like what the dungeon was, or where the dungeon was. Why is she paused in time? They're all in time bubbles. Hello. There is only one true. Time have you a moment to risk it? We would like to have a word with you. I'm ready to speak. Oh. Another cutscene. Thank you, champion. Without you and Kronormu's bravery, I could not imagine what would have. Nostorno? Nostorno! <laughs> I think we were supposed to do this quest before the other. Not everything. The clouds in my vision have parted. And I can breathe without doubt or despair. I feel <laughs> she's so, she's alive very squeaky. Again. Thanks to you. But what? She has such luscious eyelashes, though. Stop the infinites. Eridicron escaped through a kind of void tear, taking Galakron's essence with him. A void gate. His dark dealings have come to fruition. Feels like he's leaving this war to his kin. His hatred for the Titans is all he cares about. Nosdormu, can you perceive where he has gone? He has passed beyond my sight. All I see now are burning embers encroaching upon. Marithra must be warned. If Farrakh leads their forces now, he will be vicious and strike where we are most vulnerable. The world tree. Yes. As dangerous as he is. For now, we must leave Eridicron to his schemes and steal ourselves for whatever Farak and Viranoth are preparing to unleash. The defense of Amirdrasil comes first. No Amir Drasil! Oh, is this the intro right. to the Amir Drasil raid? The future is worth fighting for. See, it's so confusing doing these all out of order. I hate it.
I have finally confronted a fear that have haunted, uh, that had haunted me for so long, too long. Morozond can now be left in the past, and I am ready to face the future with open eyes. Kronormu mentioned that she had found ta a time relic after your fight with Morichi. Mo Morichi? Morichi. That device forced time to move quickly forward. It seems the relic of is of a similar power, only it can rewind the threads of time, returning one to an earlier point. I shall safeguard it. We would not want such a device to fall into the wrong hands. A disaster? <gasps> what happened? I get to play a fun game and have a psycho, a, a psychotic chat, or play World of Tanks and have a normal chat. Wait, why do you get a psychotic chat when you play fun games? People aren't nice when you play fun games? Who's not being nice? Let me at him. Oh, you one minute left until the one million on the clock. Sheesh! Portal to the primalist future taken. What is this one too? Another Nose Dormu quest. Jeez. <coughs> I think Pow World may just be attracting a lot of craziest right now because it's so new. So you get a lot of random people who are only hopping in as something new. Wait, Patty played Pal World? Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. One million! Woo! Yay! Double digits, double digits, double digits, double digits, double digits, double digits! Let's go! <laughs> Woo! Yay! <clears throat> Woo! We missed nine nine nine. Oh, nine 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 nine. <laughs> next time, next time. Dance party coming soon. True, it's on the rise. Okay, but we are we are getting pretty pretty close to these quests. However, I'm feeling kind of hungry, so I think I want to take a little break and heat up my leftover tofu curry, and maybe we'll watch that garlic video that Ace sent us, and then we can come back to Wow. But for now, I think I'm gonna log out right here while I eat some dins. Let me see about making myself some dinner too. Dins. Dins, 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 dins. Dins, 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 dins. Dins, 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 dins. Dins, 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 dins. Yay, yay, finish your shell and then we can tour them tomorrow. It's called Project CW. Oh, it's the alpha for Wargaming's new game. Oh, wait, is it? Is it, uh, like. Oh, good night, Doom Bunny. Sleep well. Still war e esque? I have no interest in Power World. Yeah. I have interest in like watching, but I don't really want to play it. I just want to see like how silly it can get, but I I don't think I have a desire to play Power World. Mmm. Gotcha, gotcha. Honestly, you just gotta play what you love. And the people that also love those things will will come too. So play it if you love it. Play it. Okay. Um, let me go heat up my food. I need to take a little bathroom break as well. 
I'll play some lo-fi for you guys while I BRB, okay? I'll be right back, heating up food and using the restroom.
Okay, sorry. I've been doing like dishes too because we finished the tea, so I have that pot. And then we just finished the rice, so I have that pot. So I was scrubbing those real quick while my food is heating up anyway. Like three more minutes. Tofu curry. There's a lot of it, so I hope I can eat it all. <laughs> Yummy. It smells delicious. Like your setup. Thank you. <clears throat> Alright, sorry that took a long time, but it is nice to have the dishes done. <laughs> Might retop on my water too, really quick. Ready to get comfy and cozy and watch a video about garlic. Yeah? Here we go. Do you guys like garlic? I like garlic. Okay, we're gonna restart it and we're gonna watch it at normal speed. We're doing a deep dive into the world of garlic, one of the most used and loved aromatic ingredients on the planet. And based on the length, 
you'll see. This video is packed with graphics, three different taste test experiments, and answers to every question you could possibly have when it comes hey, to garlic. This includes why do humans love garlic? Why does it burn so fast? What's the best way to store garlic? Does jarred garlic taste that much different than fresh? What about garlic <coughs> paste or garlic powder? Uh, having we'll talk about how curry. you can change the intensity of raw garlic, or depending on how you cook it, you can completely change the taste of garlic. This isn't garlic, garlic 101, 201, 301, or even garlic 405. Well, By the end of this video, you'll have an honorary garlic PhD. And the best part is, all this information can instantly be applied the next time you use garlic at home. So, where does our journey begin? Well, in the ground, because we need to learn how garlic is actually grown. Before we get deep into the testing and test candidates, this we makes need to me first want to grow understand my own garlic. what is garlic, how is it grown, and why is it almost universally loved around the world? Garlic is an allium grown by propagating single clothes, which grow back into a full head with a sprouting stalk and flower, and this is known as a garlic scape. Any emerging scapes are cut off before they can flower, so the plant can send all its energy back down to the bulb and produce oh. more cloves. And eventually, the stalks begin to wither and brown, at which point the bulb is plucked out of the ground for harvest, and they are ready for curing. Now, I didn't know that the garlic we buy at the grocery store is actually cured, but it's a super important process that begins to explain why garlic is used in so many cuisines around the world. To cure the garlic, Wait, so the okay. excess soil is brushed off from the harvested bulbs, and they are then strung up to hang in a dry, well-ventilated area for about two to four weeks, during which two important changes happen. First, the outer layers of the bulbs dry, which forms a protect. Okay, wait, 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 wait. So if I were to grow my own garlic, I'd have to cure it before I use it? Use fresh garlic if you want the pungent spiciness. I'll forget this two minutes after the video is over. No, 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 no. You won't. Papery skin. And secondly, the flavors of the cloves themselves intensify during these couple of weeks. Because that papery protective skin forms, this means that garlic and other alliums like onions and shallots are a readily available year-round crop that could be stored for weeks and months at a time in warehouses, supermarket shelves, and right in your pantry. Speaking of, do you know the best way to store garlic? Well, for optimal storage, whole garlic heads should be stored in a cool, dark place like your pantry, not the fridge or counter, because excess moisture or light will speed up molding and sprouting. And without this cured dry protective layer, garlic cloves actually mold and spoil really fast. I know peeling garlic can be a pain, but keeping those heads or cloves intact helps preserve them. For example, have you ever seen these packs of pre-peeled garlic? While they seem super convenient, I bought them like twice in my life and have been completely burned both times. I use like a third of the bag pretty quick, but then I just toss it into the fridge and then it gets moldy really quickly, much faster than a whole head of garlic just in my pantry. And I know that I can't be the only one who has been burnt on those pre-peeled cloves. The one caveat is if you need a lot of garlic fast and have a specific use case, this might be what you grab. For example, a lot of restaurants will use this, but it's really hard to use up all these garlic cloves at home unless you make some garlic confit, which I'll show you a bit later. Now, pre-peeled garlic poses another problem, and that is it allows the garlic aromas and flavors to quickly fade to the air. And this brings us to understanding the flavor quality. I kind of want to wear my headset so I can actually listen to this without you guys getting massive echo. <clears throat> I want to absorb this knowledge. I guess you actually have to cure it unless you're growing a lot. We mince a whole bag of peeled garlic and we keep it for a week and it's fine. Oh, the, the curing? Wait. Which part are you interested in? And then I can also keep my mic. Well, not that close. Like here. He's over right up. Oh. Garlic. There you we go. Know that you can change the flavor intensity of garlic depending on how you prepare it? You see, just like onions, leeks, and shallots, garlic's flavor is released when the cells are damaged. And the more cells that are damaged, mm. the more of the signature flavor is released. 
For example, here are five different prepped garlic cloves. One is peeled whole, one is crushed in half, one is sliced, one is minced, and one is grated into a paste. Now, garlic's flavor compounds are primarily fat soluble. So, if you were to mix in some room temperature olive oil or melted butter into these, and then strained off the garlic solids and dipped in some bread and wheat oil, you're going to have five wildly different experiences. The garlic sickos are going to love the pungent, tingly bite of the oil made with the garlic paste, while the oil made with the whole peeled clove is going to taste like no garlic was ever used. It's hot! This is actually is super cool. Like if this just tastes like olive oil, you'd have no idea that it was sitting with a clove of garlic. Whereas the one that was paste and mixed up with silk, strained off, it's imparted with all of those flavors of garlic and you actually get that really pungent bite. And the key I want bread and oil with garlic. The more cells that are damaged, the more flavor is released. However, before you run out to buy some dark garlic or make a batch of garlic paste for yourself to save you from the shackles of peeling garlic for dinner, the flavor <clears throat> of fresh garlic is fleeting due to two variables, the temperature and the time. According to the science of cooking, at room temperature, the amount of allicin in a damaged clove peaks at around 60 seconds and then mellows as the allicin and other molecules break down into more complex flavors. Secondly, at above 140 degrees Fahrenheit, or 60 C, the allicin generating enzymes are completely deactivated. Meaning, some garlic that you chopped yesterday is going to taste less garlicky than a clove you chopped a minute ago. And also, a cooked garlic clove will taste very different than a raw garlic clove. Now, first, you may be wondering who is allicin and what does she have to do with garlic? But more importantly, while it may be true that garlic flavor peaks at 60 seconds after chopping, what I want to know is how much of a difference does it actually make? Like how different is granulated garlic, very dark garlic, or garlic paste when I actually cook with it? And in theory, these are all going to have slightly different taste, so that's exactly why I wanted to do three side-by-side -side taste tests with a raw application and two cooked versions. One where garlic is a main flavor character, and one where garlic is a supporting flavor character. Now, before we get to the test, <coughs> we're able to understand the three fundamental flavor attributes that raw garlic has. But first, let me tell you about my favorite olive oil. Keep this at a PO5. Reason number two is oil the same. Their extra butt, for example, mm -hmm. is a squeeze bottle mm -hmm. mm -hmm. So if you want to pack mm -hmm. it and make it in Graza for sponsoring this video. Okay. okay. <laughs> At a high level, these six properties make up the flavor of food. Taste, aroma, texture, physical reaction, sight, and the human element. And when it comes to analyzing the flavor of fresh garlic, the three most important to think about are taste, aroma, and physical reaction. I'm not talking. Now let's start with taste because for raw garlic, it's actually the least important factor. Garlic in its raw form doesn't have a lot of taste, but it does have a lot of aroma and pungency. Both we'll talk about in a moment. Technically, raw garlic does have molecules that make it taste sweet, bitter, and slightly umami, but you would only notice these if you could completely plug your nose and isolate the taste receptors from the dominant aroma that you are taking in. I'm gonna regret this one, but here we go. <clears throat> Woo, that'll wake you up. That will wake you up. Mm. As Harold McGee from On Food and Cooking explains, there are only a handful of different tastes, sweet, sour, salty, bitter, and savory, or umami, while there are thousands <coughs> of different odors. And it's odor molecules that make an apple taste like an apple, not like a pear or radish. If our nose is blocked by a cold or pinching fingers, it's hard to tell the difference between an apple and a pear, so most of what we experience as flavor is actually odor or aroma. Now, while taste is the least important factor in raw garlic, as I hinted earlier, the flavor of garlic can completely change when we cook it. Cooking garlic causes it to lose a lot of the aromatic compounds and pungency that raw <laughs> garlic does, but depending on how you cook it, it can create new aromatic compounds and also new tastes. We'll talk a little bit more about this in experiments two and three, but for example, because garlic has a high sugar content in the form of fructose, it actually becomes sweeter as it browns and caramelizes. 
and we'll demonstrate this in a garlic confit example coming up. However, if you cook garlic too long, those sucrose sugars can burn, which makes them go bitter. And this is why burnt garlic can completely ruin a dish. So while for raw garlic, taste is not really a factor, most of us love garlic for its garlicky aroma and physical tingly sensation in the mouth known Whoa. as pungency. And here's how these two work. In these various studies, there have been 125 individual aroma compounds identified in raw and heated garlic cloves. And these aroma compounds generally fall into two categories. 85 are sulfur containing compounds and 40 are non-sulfur containing compounds. And the sulfur containing compounds are what give garlic its signature garlic aroma that we all know and love. And there is one specific aroma molecule from the thiosulfonates that is the key and <clears throat> you guess, this is allicin. Hot. Allicin is an organosulfur compound or a distinct sulfur containing structure that is responsible for the signature aroma of garlic. But interestingly enough, allicin isn't actually present in whole garlic, but it's formed through an enzymatic reaction when the cloves are cut, crushed, or minced. So how exactly does allicin form? Well, the allyl sulfurous molecules is kept separate from the allynase enzyme in the intact structure of a garlic clove. However, when the garlic cell walls are ruptured, the two come into contact to form the pungent allicin. Thus, <clears throat> the more garlic cells that are crushed the and ruptured, come. the more these two compounds are brought together and the more allicin is produced, resulting in a much stronger garlic aroma and pungency. <clears throat> this is exactly what we saw earlier with the whole crushed, minced, and paste garlic. Now again, there's two things to keep in mind here. The amount of allicin peaks at around 60 seconds before mellowing out over time. And secondly, at above 140 degrees Fahrenheit, the allicin generating enzymes are deactivated. And this is why raw garlic gives us that fiery irritation that us garlic sickos love, but it's not present after cooking garlic. This brings us to the physical reaction side of things where we have two questions to answer. One, why does garlic cause us irritation? And secondly, from a psychological perspective, why do humans like food that cause pain and irritation? All right, I don't like this. I don't like spicy garlic. I don't like food that causes me pain and irritation. This is a great question. I'd love to know more. Please tell us. All alliums do have sulfurous pungent compounds whose original purpose was actually to deter animals from eating them. However, humans did not agree. And pungency is neither a taste or smell, but actually a general feeling of irritation that verges on pain. And very reactive sulfur containing compounds in the mustard and onion families apparently do mild damage to the unprotected cell membranes in our mouth and nasal passages. Garlic specific- See, so you're damaging your mouth if you eat spicy stuff. Damaging your mouth. Specifically produces a hundredfold higher concentration of pungent sulfurous reactions when its cell walls are ruptured compared to milder alliums like leeks or onions. Now, if that's true, you may be wondering why do onions make people cry, but not garlic? Well, some alliums contain different sulfur compounds known as lacrimators, which in high concentration cause irritations to human, most notably making people cry when they get released through cutting or crushing the cell walls. However, lacrimators are only present in onions, shallots, leeks, and chives, but not in garlic. Garlic's main compound is allicin, which <clears throat> thankfully doesn't make us cry, but it does cause that pleasant tingling. Which leads me to the next question. Why do humans like food that cause us pain and irritation? For example, why do we enjoy the sting of wasabi, ginger, garlic, hot peppers, or eating a spicy bag of chips? Well, it turns out that eating spicy or pungent foods is kind of like going on a roller coaster or jumping into a frigid lake. While pungent and spicy foods do send signals of pain and irritation to our brain, our minds recognize that this situation isn't truly dangerous. So when on a roller coaster or eating a spicy curry, we savor those stimulating sensations for their own sake and find pleasure and novelty in them. 
And then after eating these types of food, as noted in On Food and Cooking, the sensation of pain may also cause pain relieving body chemicals that leave a pleasant glow when the burning fades. And additionally, we may also enjoy spicy food because irritation adds a new dimension to the experience of eating. In other words, pungent garlic is stimulating in a dish. It makes our food less boring. And I'm thinking we should probably do a deep dive into spicy and irritating foods. But first, let's put some of this garlic theory that we've been learning about to the test. So remember, we have only been zoomed in on using garlic raw because these flavors can change substantially when they're cooked. So before we dive into the cooked garlic, I wanna use raw garlic in a side-by-side -side taste test. However, instead of testing chopped versus paste versus sliced, that's more of a personal preference thing based on your love for garlic. I wanted to test fresh garlic against some of the convenient prepared options to see how much of a difference there actually is between something like fresh garlic, jarred garlic, and granulated. So I did that by making one of my favorite summer salads, panzanella. For this test, I made that's one a salad? big batch of Bro, that's like bread with vegetables. That's not a salad. What the hell? What kind of salad is this, chat? Panzanella components by slicing up a crusty loaf of sourdough bread into thick sheets, then into planks, and lastly into cubes before tossing them into a bowl. Next, I sliced a bunch of cherry tomatoes in half using the deli lid trick before adding a big sprinkle of salt to internally season them and draw out excess moisture. Lastly, I sliced up <laughs> one fourth of a red onion into slices, and after prepping this, I tossed the bread into a bowl along with the tomatoes, onions, some fresh sliced basil, and some shaved Parmigiano Reggiano. Parmigiano Reggiano. comes into play with the vinaigrette. So for the vinaigrette, I set a jar over a scale and poured in the tomato juices from the salted tomatoes, 25 grams of white wine vinegar, and 100 grams of the Graza finishing olive oil. Then I gave that all a shake to emulsify it and just added a touch more vinegar to taste. I poured 20 grams of the vinaigrette into three separate bowls before adding the three different types of garlic. To one, I added one clove of fresh minced garlic. To the middle, I added the same size amount of the jarred garlic. And lastly, I added the granulated garlic to the last one before mixing each of them up. Then I separated the salad components into three different deli containers and added the different garlic vinaigrettes before shaking up the salads thoroughly and letting them sit for 15 minutes before doing the taste test. Let's blindfold up. I cannot wait to get into these. This is one of my minutes? favorite summer salads. Now based- Panzella, Panzanella or Panmolalalala is a Tuscan and Umbrian chopped salad of soaked stale bread. Onions and tomatoes that is popular in the summer. So, it's not actually crusty. The bread is soggy. So you're eating a soggy bread and vegetable salad. Based on what we learned earlier, these were the questions I was thinking about during this test. First, how garlicky will the fresh garlic be after sitting for about 15 to 20 minutes? Because remember, even though I haven't cooked this garlic, the allicin and pungency will mellow over time. And secondly, is the jarred or granulated garlic a decent substitute for fresh garlic when used in a raw application? Tastes really good. That one smells like pretty garlicky to me. Now, as soon as I opened the second container, it smelled completely different than the garlic flavor in the first container. However, I did incorrectly identify it. Oh, <laughs> I can already tell. This is definitely the jarred garlic. It smells exactly like the, the jarred garlic. Like, whatever, whatever's in the jarred garlic, this is exactly what it smells like. Bro. It's gotten that very distinctive, like, smell and, like, whatever it's packed in, it, it's very distinctive, and that is definitely the jarred garlic. When I got to the third container, I wasn't really getting much garlic flavor at all. I was just tasting the other components. But then when I went back to the first container, it was even clearer that this was the fresh garlic because of that pungent tingle. In this test, supremely obvious which one is which. I, I'll put money down, like fresh, jarred, granulated, no question. This fresh one, you get the little tingle around. So like, if you love that garlic, you're gonna get that. Now my microphone died <clears throat> before I got rid of my blindfold and I ended up talking to the camera for a couple of minutes where I recapped my key observation from this test. 
which was the fresh garlic was the only one that caused the physical reaction of pungency on my lips and it was easily my favorite and I was able to clearly identify it. But ultimately, this test left me wanting to figure out three questions. One, why did the jarred garlic taste the least garlicky of all three? Two, why did the granulated garlic change flavors so significantly that it confused me? And three, how will these garlic flavors change when I use them in a cooked recipe? <laughs> So before we get into experiments two and three, we need to do some digging into how these form mm. factors are actually made and if they're ultimate. Garlic paste makes me want to throw up. I'm not gonna lie, it looks disgusting. Definitely worth keeping in our pantry because after this first test, I'm definitely not impressed. These are the four common garlic products you'll likely find at the grocery store. Obviously, number one is fresh garlic. Two is dehydrated garlic, such as garlic powder or granulated garlic. Three is jarred garlic, which is in a water-based solution. And fourth is garlic paste, which is usually in a tube and is primarily mixed with oil. Now, obviously, these aren't going to taste exactly like fresh garlic, but instead, the selling point is convenience. And you can almost envision the TV infomercial for this, where there's one guy struggling with the papery fresh garlic and mincing it up, well, the guy next to him opens up his cool looking jar and throws a spoonful of already chopped garlic into his pan. Now, after the first test, there's no way I would substitute the jarred garlic for the fresh stuff. But remember, cooking could change that whole equation in experiments two and three. So <laughs> let's actually take a look at what's inside each of these garlic products. One of the most popular forms of garlic is in dried form, either powdered, granulated, or minced. And gram per gram, dried garlic powder actually has a stronger singular flavor than fresh garlic because the drying process completely removes the moisture and concentrates the essential garlic aromas. However, the flavor of dried garlic powder is slightly different for fresh garlic. While it still has the garlic flavor, some of the more delicate aromas like allicin may be lost during drying, making the flavor less complex than fresh. And it's a similar concept to how imitation vanilla is made with super high concentrations of vanillin, while real vanilla has a wider range of aroma compounds. Now, you may be wondering, does it matter if you buy powder, granulated, or minced dry garlic? Are they basically all the same? Well, they are similar, but I actually think the minced dried garlic might be the best option for home cooks. Let me explain. Dried garlic products can be made by freeze drying or dehydrating garlic at low enough temperatures below 140 degrees so the allicin producing enzymes won't be deactivated. And you can find dried garlic in the following form factors. The <coughs> finest texture is garlic powder. And true garlic powder is ground to a fine flour-like consistency and it spreads easily throughout the dishes. However- I always thought this garlic like burned immediately. I've never liked powdered garlic. I've always liked granulated garlic. However, because of this, it loses its aroma quickly due to more surface area being exposed to oxygen. And if you buy this, you want to make sure you keep it sealed in a dark place and use it up within a few months. And you can check out my spice guide and store. Within a few months? My mom? and my grandma buy like gallons of garlic powder and keep it for like a year. Boring guide for more info on this. The like middle texture is Costco. granulated garlic. Now sometimes at the store, granulated garlic is also called garlic powder, but it's ground a tiny bit coarser to about a sand consistency. And this is the Goldilocks of dried garlic, probably what most of you have at home and what I'm used to using. However, that may change because of form factor three, and that is minced dried garlic. <clears throat> These are the coarse pieces of garlic like you would find on an everything bagel. And you can think oh, of them as yeah. the whole peppercorns of garlic powder, which have two unique benefits. First, versatility. These can be used whole, or you can crush them up into a powder before using. And secondly, longer storage. Whole spices in general stay fresh for longer than fine ground powders due to less exposed surface area and volatility. So unless you are using the powder from earlier very often, this, in my opinion, is the best version for home cooks. 
Now, when it comes to using dried garlic products in your cooking, it really helps if you activate them or simply put, rehydrate them. So America's Test Kitchen recommends mixing garlic powder in a bit of water before cooking with it, which makes for a much more potent end product. Interesting. And adding dried garlic straight to oil or butter means it won't get a chance to rehydrate and release its maximum flavor. Now, you don't actually have to pre-mix it in a little bowl of water, as garlic powder will often rehydrate during the cooking process when it comes into contact with wet ingredients. For example, in the Panzanella test, it rehydrated with the tomato water and vinegar in the vinaigrette, and this is my theory on why I confuse the jarred garlic and the granulated. I was used to smelling the jarred garlic in the watery solution from the jar, and it simulated a very similar smell to the granulated garlic in the panzanella salad after it had been rehydrated. And surprisingly, the granulated garlic tasted more garlicky than the jarred stuff. And if you smell hydrated garlic paste right next to the jarred garlic paste, it's actually crazy how similar they are. Because dried garlic products are most flavorful when they are rehydrated, this allows that allicin to reawaken. Now, in experiment number- So weird, I've never thought to rehydrate my powder before using it. <clears throat> Shelf stable minor flavor enhancer. Yeah, yeah. This is interesting, I've only tried it once since and probably need to give it another shot or two to see if, it's act if it actually does much. The rehydrating thing, yeah, that is very interesting. Number two, the granulated garlic will be rehydrated with the pasta water in the pan, but I also ground the jarred garlic into a paste to see if I could get it to release more flavor. However, before we jump into those tests, let me quickly explain what jarred garlic and tubed garlic paste are. So why is jarred garlic a thing? Again, this likely arose out of consumer demands for pre-prepped ingredients and as a way to preserve garlic. So how's it made? Well, jarred garlic is essentially pickled. It's pre-minced and then preserved in a water and citric acid solution. And if you taste this liquid alone, it's pretty sour. Unfortunately, the acid breaks down the allicin and garlic flavors over time. And while the garlic won't mold or spoil easily, it also doesn't retain its full flavor. I kind of realized that pickled onions and jarred garlic kind of have a lot of similarities because these smell oniony-ish, but I can literally eat a full bite of these no problem, and it really doesn't taste that much like onions. Now, the same thing happens with the jarred minced garlic. Now, will this change at all when it comes to cooking? I'm pretty skeptical. <clears throat> Not gonna lie, all this talk on, uh, on garlic and all the like pictures that he's showing, Kind of making me lose my appetite. It's just a lot of garlic. It's a cold. And, and a lot of weird, gross-looking, like, close-up shots. And I actually think this tube of garlic paste might be a much better option. So why is garlic paste a thing? Well, squirting garlic into the pan is pretty damn convenient, and this is popular in a number of cuisines. And here's how it's made. Essentially, there's two categories of this. There's water base, which is essentially <clears throat> acidic jarred garlic, just in paste form. And secondly, we have oil-based, and this is the one that I'm using for testing today. The version I have is an Italian product that is kept from oxidizing by using oil. And on the ingredient list, there is garlic, sunflower oil, salt, extra virgin olive oil, citrus fiber, and citric acid. And in theory, the oil-based paste probably works better than jarred because oils are really good at holding on to otherwise volatile aroma flavor molecules. So the oils in this product become infused with the garlic flavor, even though the garlic bits themselves may lose some of their potency over time. Thus, when you use paste in a dish, you can transfer the stored flavor into the dish via the oils that it's made with. Now, will this stuff live up to the box's claim of authentic Italian flavor? Well, there's no place to hide in this next test because Aglio e Olio is a pasta all about the flavor of garlic. Mm -hmm. Solid pasta, not super garlicky. For this test, I made several batches of olio olio, which is the classic pasta made what? with emulsion of olive oil. What is he saying? Olio olio olio. Olio olio olio. Olio olio olio. Why is that so hard to say? <coughs> olio olio. 
salty pasta water that is flavored with garlic and parsley. The only thing I changed, the garlic form factor. So for this test, I use fresh garlic, jarred garlic, granulated <coughs> garlic, and garlic paste. Now, because I only have room to make three batches at once on the stove, I had to split this into two separate tests. The first one is fresh versus jarred versus granulated, and the second is only fresh versus garlic paste, but it's a triangle test. Now, a triangle test is a blind evaluation of three relatively similar samples where you have to choose the outlier. So I made two bowls of fresh and two bowls of garlic paste, but then pulled one away and have to see if I can correctly identify which one is which. Oli, 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 oli. Maybe a little bit more garlic flavor coming into that one. But let me get to number three. Also, before some Italians start raising fists in the air and saying you should never use granulated garlic for a dish like this, remember, this is an exploration to try and observe how garlic changes when it is cooked and used as the primary flavoring for a dish. And ultimately, these are the questions I'm looking to figure out. One, does the fresh garlic completely lose its pungent bite when cooked? Two, are there any decent substitutes for fresh garlic? Or three, maybe could a combination of these be good together? So let's hop into my observation for the first three bowls of pasta. Continuing its disappointing result from earlier in the panzanella, the jarred garlic let me down again. Solid tasting. I feel like I'm mostly getting parsley in that one. Not much garlic flavor. And again, this was made clear when I got to the next bowl where I was welcomed with those fresh garlic aromas. Definitely better than number one. More garlicky. It's, it's balanced with the parsley and the kind of garlicky flavor. He really it's is. really interesting for me when I got to... He's, he eats very weirdly, I'm not going to lie. ...to the last bowl. It tasted so garlicky, it almost felt artificial. Three is uh, garlicky, but almost like an artificial garlic. Like, it feels like it's pumping the, the garlic out at you, which kind of makes me think this might be the granulated. So if I were ranking these, I think the middle one is the fresh garlic. It is the best, like, pretty clearly. But the third one, I think this is granulated, and I actually like this much better than number one, which I think is the jarred. I think you get, you get just get like no garlic flavor from this. Uh, if this is the jarred garlic, you just get no garlic flavor. <coughs> when uh, we used to cook with jarred garlic, I would literally use, like I, I used it in college, because I, I thought the same. It's very, very, um, like just light in flavor. So I would always get the giant jar and I would use like spoonfuls, like three or four spoonfuls in whatever I, my dish was. I would use so much because it would take so much to get any sort of garlic flavor out of it. Flavor from it. So if you remember, the dried garlic options are very concentrated flavors. So when rehydrated in a dish like this, it's a super dominant garlic flavor with no complexity or freshness from the garlic cloves. And after this test, my first conclusion is I'm completely out on jarred garlic. Similar to how you wouldn't cook with pickled onions in place of raw onions, jarred garlic just has no place in being used for me. Now, before I talk about granulated, let's move to the fresh versus garlic paste test. Again, for this, I use the same exact method and recipe, except I use the prepared tube paste in one and the fresh ground garlic paste in the other. So, will I be able to correctly identify the outlier here? Let's see. So for this taste test, I've got two bowls of the fresh, two bowls of the paste. I'm gonna blindfold, remove one, and then see if I can identify which one's the same and which one is different. So. Remove that one. We've got three left. Top in. I chose to use garlic paste here because I thought it would be the hardest to identify. Solid pasta. Not super garlicky. Maybe a little bit more garlic flavor coming into that one. But let me get to number three. Initial, I think one and three are different. And after going through each of them, I made my final guess on which was which. Okay, so I think two and three are the same. And I think these are both the fresh garlic. Um, I feel like there's something in these that's like kind of missing. Like this tastes like garlic, but it feels like I'm missing some kind of of those fresh, like brighter aromas that I'm getting in two or three. So let's see how I did. I think 
two and three are the same. <coughs> I think, and I think they're the oh, cheeky. I think one is the now uh, we're learning about garlic. garlic paste. This was the garlic paste, so I call that correctly. Two, fresh, let's go. Three, fresh, let's go. So maybe unsurprisingly, I think fresh garlic is not really replaceable for this dish. However, mm -hmm. I still learned a lot, and here are my conclusions and questions that I still have. One, I'm out on jarred garlic, as I mentioned earlier. Two, fresh garlic does have an aromatic quality that is unmistakable. Three, granulated garlic does taste very garlicky, but you have to be oh, careful same ace. not to use I always use too way too much, much. garlic. And I like it. Granulated garlic could be used in combination with fresh garlic or garlic paste. And I actually made another batch of pasta with... I always thought... This is kind of weird because I've kind of realized some of these things that he's pointing out on my own. Like, I find that when I use just powdered garlic or just fresh garlic... Like, <clears throat> I don't know, it kind of, like, I miss out on one or the other, so I add them both. If I'm doing a dish where I really want the garlic to be prominent, I add fresh garlic, but then I'll also add some garlic powder, too, because I like the flavor of garlic powder. It's more of, like, the, yeah, super, like, not spicy, just, like, a mellow, I guess the way he explained it is correct, like, an artificial garlic flavor, but that's good. And then, like, the fresh garlic provides a little bit of that spice, I guess. <coughs> Granulated the garlic, complexity. garlic paste, and Parmigiano-Reggiano as the flavoring for the sauce, and it was actually quite incredible. And one thing that America's Test Kitchen also recommended is mixing granulated garlic with your fresh garlic on garlic bread. Now, ultimately, experiment number two was completely focused on using garlic as the main character in the flavor of a cooked dish and it's pretty easy to tell a difference. But my next question is this. What happens when garlic is used as a supporting flavor character instead of a main character? For example, granulated garlic is often used as one spice in amongst five or six others in a rub, or garlic paste may be used to a soup base or chili. Now, in order to answer that question, we need to first understand the two core questions that you should ask yourself every time it's a garlic education video i'm you cook garlic question number one is what flavor of garlic do i want in my dish and question number two is garlic being used as a main character or supporting character so one of the coolest things we haven't talked about with using fresh garlic cloves is how you can completely change how it tastes depending on how you cook it for example here are five different garlic samples with completely different tastes and aromas First, we have raw garlic, which we know has a sharp garlic aroma and pungent bite. Secondly, freshly sauteed garlic has a medium garlic aroma, no pungent bite, and actually starts to become slightly sweet. Third, we have toasted garlic slices. These are still garlicky, yes, but That's also weird. nutty due to the browning of the natural sugars. Fourth, these are confit or roasted garlic cloves, which have a very mellow garlic aroma yeah. and are very sweet compared to fresh. And far out- It really is weird. The first time I tried roasted garlic, I was like, why are we roasting the, the whole garlic? Like, why, why can't we just, you know, put it in the pan when we go? Because it was like a HelloFresh meal or something where it was like bake at the start and then you like saute stuff at the end. And I was like, that's why? Why does garlic need this? It's because it completely changes the flavor. It's crazy. It is so sweet. Out on the spectrum is black garlic. Now these are made by holding garlic cloves at a constant temperature of 130 degrees Fahrenheit for two to three weeks, rendering the cloves black as tar. And all of the characteristic sharp garlic flavor is gone and replaced with a molasses-like sweet and umami taste with a funky fermented garlic aroma. Now we could probably do a whole video trying out all the things you can do with black garlic, but this really shows all the ways that the flavor of garlic can change depending on how you cook it. Now, one point of caution, you can definitely- I didn't know that that's how black garlic was made. I thought it was maybe a different like species of garlic. <laughs> but it's fermented garlic, good to know, good to know. Go too far because garlic burns really fast. And if you have ever wondered why it burns so fast, here you go. According to On Food and Cooking, 
garlic has a much higher concentration of fructose and fructose change when compared to onions. And additionally, garlic bulbs contain just 60% water compared to the 90% in onion. And both of these make garlic prone to drying out very fast, over caramelizing the sugars and ultimately <coughs> becoming burnt. Now, burnt sugar compounds like garlic fructose taste really bitter once they have gone past their caramelized state, which is why it will completely ruin and overpower the flavor of a dish. So if you burn your garlic, in most cases, it's probably best to completely start over. Okay, so question number one also extends to the garlic form factor. For example, maybe a punchy granulated garlic might be what you need in a rub for barbecue. And then after deciding that, question number two, is the garlic flavor a main character or a supporting character? So in the first two experiments, I would say we're using garlic as a main character. And to define that, I mean, I can clearly pick out the flavor of garlic. For example, even though there <coughs> are several components in the panzanella salad, I'm really after that pungent bite, which only fresh garlic can provide. Additionally, in the alio e olio test, it's really just Ali garlic and parsley. Now, other main character recipes could be garlic bread, garlic flavored hummus, garlic vegetable stir fry, or a garlicky rice. Mm. However, in most recipes, garlic is typically used as a supporting character, where we want the aromatic qualities, but it's not the main flavor. So think about using sauteed garlic for a soup, stew, or chili, adding cloves of garlic to a braise, using garlic powder in a spice mix. And the question is, does it make a difference if you use prepared garlic like powder or tube in place of fresh in a dish where it's just playing a supporting role? Well, ladies and gentlemen, this is the final taste test. We're What's he making? Dania or cilantro chicken, which is a recipe I've been waiting to try out for a long time and thought this was the perfect occasion. So as a cilantro lover, I've been waiting to try this dish and I thought let's let's make it a taste test. I think they're all going to be really really good, but I'm curious is there actually a difference between the fresh, the paste and the granulated garlic and how significant is that experience? Let's give it a taste. For this test, I made three identical batches of cilantro chicken except with different garlic applications. I got rid of the jarred garlic. How does he make like, how does he keep an eye on three different dishes and, like, not lose track of which one they are? I would forget. <coughs> like, completely, and I'm using fresh garlic, tube garlic paste, and granulated garlic. The garlic is used in a ginger and lemon mixture that is rubbed directly onto the chicken before cooking. Chimkin. So, I set a bowl over a blender and added a four-inch piece of ginger cut into chunks, the juice from one half of a lemon, and a pinch of salt before blending that together into a paste. I then Yum. added the ginger mixture to my garlic candidates, fresh grated garlic, tube of paste, and the granulated, which will hydrate it once it comes together. Then I grabbed out two boneless chicken thighs each and added boneless. the ginger garlic mixture to the exterior. And as you can see, this is a very different use case for garlic because we haven't even made the sauce yet. For the sauce, get out the blender and add two Roma tomatoes chopped up, a couple of green chilies, a squirt of tomato <gasps> Spicy. paste, and half a bunch of cilantro, and lastly, some salt before blending that into a nice puree. Now, it doesn't look pretty, but this sauce is incredible in the cooked product. At the stove, I set three pans over high it heat looks like a and green added smoothie. some oil. Once hot, I added the garlic ginger pieces down and seared them. And as you can see, we are getting some nice roasted and toasted flavors of garlic, which are much different than the alio e olio test. Alio e olio! importantly, this cilantro sauce right here is the main flavor. After the chicken is seared, I pour the sauce over the chicken and let it bubble and reduce down. After a few minutes, the last step Wait, is to whoa. add some whole plain fat yogurt. That's so weird because the sauce is green and then it, it turns brown as you cook it. Which makes the sauce creamy and really rounds out the flavors. Then you just let that cook down until it's reduced. I chop the chicken into pieces and let's assemble. I added rice to three different bowls before adding on the cilantro chicken and a little fresh sprig of cilantro too. And with this test, I'm looking to answer this. One, do the dishes taste any different? And more importantly, if so, how different are they? I'm just enjoying it so much. I am like kind of forgetting to, <clears throat> can I actually- No, like, they're not everything? burned. So right off the bat, this dish just tastes really good. However, when I got to the second one, I did notice a difference in the flavor. This one maybe tastes a little bit more vibrant 
and fresh a little bit. A lot of flavors going on in this. Wait, 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 wait. He used paste and fresh in the same one? Why would he combine them? He didn't. Why is it two with a pink underneath? And why is that one three green and also teal? What? <clears throat> Just really good. Yeah, I think number two is, is more sour than uh, number one. Ultimately, after tasting all three, mm. they taste great. But I am able to pick up on the difference in bowl number two. Man, they're all really good. Two, though, like pops a little bit more and, and more vibrant than um, than one and two. Mm, yeah. Like all three of them are so good, though. Like I, I don't feel like I'm missing anything in my enjoyment of these. Um, but number two, I think maybe maybe that's the paste because I think the paste does have that sour quality to it. Um, but honestly, I don't feel like I'm missing like anything or it's like off the charts different. So I'm I'm pretty curious to see like what these are. Number one was the, the paste. Number two, the fresh. So this, I, I did like this one the best. Um, and then number three, granulated. So this is pretty interesting. Number two, I liked the most. It was the fresh garlic. And it was kind of like fresher, brighter, I, I sour. <coughs> Maybe I wasn't identifying that correctly. I don't know. But there was a quality and, and number two that I picked out differently than kind of one and three. That being said, I don't feel like I'm... So big, big TLDR, fresh is better in every occasion of cooking. Missing the garlic, the fresh garlic with any of these. There are so many other components and ingredients in this dish that it's not going to make or break the dish. Whereas like fresh cilantro versus dried cilantro, that's going to make or break this dish. So here's my ultimate conclusion from this test. Just because it tastes different does not mean the others are bad. Remember, garlic's playing a supporting <coughs> role here. Did the fresh garlic make the best dish to my taste? Yes, but just because it tastes different does not mean it's bad. It's playing that supporting role, and obviously, you don't typically taste things side by side like this. So if someone served me these bowls and didn't tell me what they changed, I would never go, oh, the garlic is different. However, with experiments one and two, I probably would be able to pick out that difference. In the panzanella, the fresh garlic was the only one with the pungent tingly bite. And in the alio aolio, I've only made it with fresh garlic before, so that's what I'm used to, making the granulated taste almost artificial. So to wrap this video Such up, a fun based word. on all that we have learned, let's answer this. Is there actually okay. a substitute for fresh garlic? No. To answer the question plainly, I don't think there really is a substitute for fresh garlic. Just think about everything it can do. First, it's the only option if you want that pungent sting. You can control wow. the intensity of raw garlic. Why are you being so rude to Ethan? It. You can He's teaching us about garlic. The flavor of it depending on how you cook it. It naturally lasts a long time in its papery protective layer, and it's really cheap. I mean, removing the skin isn't this huge inconvenience that those jarred garlic infomercials may want you to believe. That being said, we also learned that granulated garlic or garlic paste can definitely have a place in dishes where you're not relying on garlic as the main character. Anyway, I think this is the longest video we've ever done, and it was definitely a team effort. Spencer, my editor, did a ton of work pulling this whole edit together, and then Keith, who writes our newsletter, also helped me a ton with the research. Good job, Spencer. Good job, Keith. Script. Also, thank you to Graza for sponsoring this video. That link is down Good below. Good job, Graza. And if you guys want more videos like this, I am happy to do them. I find them really fun. They do take a lot more work, but yes, they are very fun. So let me know down in the comments. Anyway, that will wrap it up for me. Hopefully you have learned everything you could possibly want to know about garlic. And I will catch you all in the next one. Peace, y'all. Woo! We learned about garlic chat. <clears throat> I don't know which one I want to finish first. We learned about garlic, yay! What'd you guys think? Chase, are you gonna stop buying jarred garlic? <coughs> I should make some alio -lio, lio but I, I might need a break from garlic for a bit. I, I don't know if it's just cause I'm full and this had garlic in it, but I do not have a desire to eat any garlic at all. 
Yes, I feel enlightened. Wow, wow, wow. We learned something, chat. Ooh, we learned something. <coughs> <coughs> well, you know what, Cheeky? Oh, she tennis. Just got my head down. Yay, tennis! Thank you for the cursed Peppa. Thank you for the five gifted to Sam, to Chin, to Mac, to Tiger, to Paul. Thanks, tennis. Thank you. Thank you. Ah, what the heck? What the heck? What the heck? Wait, does that mean we hit the goal? Poggies! Oh, testing code. Wait, what? Testing code to gift subs? Mm hmm? What kind of code is this? <coughs> Chat, we have an even 900 subs right now. An even 900 subs. Shit! I haven't seen that number in years. Years, I tell you. Years. That's amazing. That is amazing. Kind of insane. Okay, I need to rinse this out. I didn't quite finish all the rice, but I, I ate all the tofu. Why not? Why haven't we seen that number in years? I don't know. People don't like me anymore. I'm washed. I'm washed up. The starving kids in Africa. Oh, why didn't I eat all my food? It's literally like two bites of rice, but I just, uh, I just, uh, I just can't. I just can't. Okay. I will be right back. I'm just gonna rinse this. And I think I'll rinse this out too. I don't know if I want more tea just yet, but I might in a minute. In a few minutes. Feed it to Niu. She is so picky. She would not eat this. She likes Cheez-Its, and that's it. That's the only human food she likes. Close my window too, because it's 74 in here. It's a little, a little cold. <coughs> <coughs> she also has to know the lore of the build. I, in the Sims channel, um, I put like a list of all the packs that I don't have. It's pinned in the Sims channel on Discord. Hundred percent cat diarrhea. If she ate it, <coughs> poggies. I'm so excited to see everyone's builds, and the fact that 
Not one, but two streamers participated? Pog! That's insane! Y'all are so nice. Y'all are so nice to me! Poggers! I'm excited because I've never made a build like this. Patty and Mara. Mara! Specifically for one of my favorite sims. I'm, in, I'm surprised that you picked this shell to be for one of your favorite sims. I feel like the shell kind of sucked. It was so, like, boxy. Maybe it's just because I'm used to building small, though. Tennis! Thank you for gifting us out to Dana! Dana? Patty gonna win. <laughs> I don't know if there are any winners. It's just about, you know, the participation award. You know. You're brown, almost yellow, like a good curry. My cur- what? My curry? <coughs> My curry was a tofu coconut milk based curry, so it was a little more yellow, if that's what you mean. Gotta add 10 minutes. Wait, what? I'm still having such a hard time with the layout of this kitchen and dining room area because yes, it's so boxy. <laughs> it is definitely difficult. <laughs> if I downloaded the shell, do I get an award? No, because you didn't participate, Chase. You had all this time. You're even a Sims player. <laughs> my audio is fucked. No, my audio is not fucked. But we do need some lo-fi again. Oh, it was a three-month sub. Oh, oh. Well, Tennis, thank you for gifting a three-month sub to Dana. Do you know that person? Or is it... Was that just a random one? Had to test that as well. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Add... Ten minutes. Yeah. Addition is easy. <clears throat> Her mic does its own thing from time to time. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sometimes it goes into the right ear. It's, yeah. <clears throat> I, I see what you're, what you're saying. <coughs> Someone published a marketplace post. She confused me and Ace again. Oh, I met her at TwitchCon in San Diego. And she's friends with Riss. Oh! Set of six bowls. They look like trash. Why would I buy these? Or some my grandma. Wait, I did? Ace play Sims? I still feel like you have an orange filter on. Oh, you're talking about my face. Well, my ring light is right here. If I turned my ring light off, you wouldn't be able to see the warm light, but I have to have it on, otherwise it's dark in here. It's just light. It's just the color of light. <coughs> I heard you yelling at Chase. What? No, I meant Ace. Did I say Chase? I s swear. I I knew Ace said it. And I know Ace is a Sims player. So th that's what I was saying. That's what I was meaning. I said Chase? Frick. <laughs> Are you sure? 
I feel like I know I said ace. <laughs> I think you're the crazy one in this scenario. I think you're crazy. There's no way. No! No! <laughs> <laughs> why why would i say that i know that ace i read the message from ace and i was talking about ace because i know chase submitted his sex dungeon <coughs> for the shell challenge i know that chase already finished <laughs> yeah Chase likes to make sex dungeons for this challenge. <laughs> for all of the shell challenges. Wait, what? She made this up too last night when we were talking about WoW? No, I didn't! There's no way. Because I know Chase went to bed! <coughs> no! Your guys' names rhyme. You're both active in chat. You both have to have the same exact pigment of blue in your names for your usernames. Sometimes it's just, I don't know. I don't know. Do I watch my stream? Why would I watch my stream? My tummy is so full right now. <clears throat> I guess, well, okay, wait, I guess I have, I, I watch my stream in the morning, because we watch VODs, right? I kind of, you know, wake up for a, a bit before I actually turn on the camera to go get ready. <laughs> no, I can't, I can't call Resantos Riss. That's, that's like, that's crossing a line right there. Riss is Riss. No, Riss's name is definitely like the, the like ocean blue color. I can't, I can't call you Riss. I remember you saying that, like people call your nickname Riss. I was like, mm-mm, no, mm-mm, I can't, I can't. Yeah, you're like Riz. I could call you Riz. But that's just weird. I always say Resantos. That's just your name. It's just easy to say. Resantos. I only ever shorten people's names if it's like really hard to say. Or if it's like, I don't know, a bunch of words strewn together. <clears throat> oh. Well, Thieslo just sounds so formal, you know? That's why I say Thies. <laughs> but no, your name's not hard to say. You just, I don't know. Thies feels more friendly. Thieslo feels very formal. But sometimes I say Thieslo when I want to, like, exaggerate your name. I'll go, Thieslo! Maybe? I don't know. <coughs> Thank you, Thies, for the 75 month resub. Let's go! Let's go! <laughs> AC was the first to call me Riss. It's kind of fun to shorten people's names as a streamer. This low? This low. What's the streamer that calls you Thieslo? Is it Cheebs? Thieslo? I think that's kind of funny. It's funny to see how different people interpret different people's usernames. I believe Riz means like charisma. Like, oh, that guy's got some Riz, you know, charisma. That's how I understand it as. She thought it was hard to say. Riz Santos? Riz Santos. What's funny, it wasn't even a few months of me making this name that I got shortened. 
to these. Super common truncation. Oh, Riz doesn't stand, like it doesn't, it doesn't stand for anything. It just is like a way to say charisma. Brian the bot calls me wrists and toes. Wrists and toes. <laughs> kind of funny. <coughs> All right, chat. I need more lotion. More lotion on my hands. They're dry and crispy. Dry, crispy hands. You guys want some, uh, some marshmallow cereal lotion charisma yeah hi revert what's up marshmallow cereal <laughs> ooh woo oh whoa It does smell very nice. I almost want to eat it. Okay, okay, okay. Real question. Do we go back to WoW like I said we were going to go do? Or do we play some Phasmo instead? I'm very curious about this weekly doom bunny said the weekly for phasmo is you start at zero percent sanity and you have to find the ghost type in willow street which is my favorite house so that means it's like immediately gonna hunt when we walk in what brand is it it's honestly it's like a cheap off brand <laughs> i got it from an uwu store an uwu store in the mall it's milk and jelly. Doom Bunny went to sleep. But that means you could join us, Rosantos. Just use dots. Every time you use dots, tennis dies, and you, you discover the ghost. I don't know if that's the case. <coughs> but I do die a lot. I don't know, I don't want to distract Patty from the uh, the shell challenge that she's doing. Ace, true? Ace cow moo? Any faz fazzy players in the chat? <laughs> we could turn the lights down for uh, for fazzy. Is that okay? That's probably still okay. Low enough. You gotta rewatch your stream. You look really orange. I don't this is just my ring light. It's a it's a like a warm ring light. It's just the way it is. I am not like spray tanning or anything, if that's what you think it is. I don't I don't really know what you're after. <coughs> I don't want to change it. I want my light to be on because otherwise it's dark. And then you can't see me at all. Would you prefer to not see me at all? If you say yes, you're gonna have to leave the stream. <laughs> ah, frick! Okay, you know what? I 
I'm going to do that thing because you guys keep saying that I am launching in VR mode. <laughs> Why can't I right click? Properties. <coughs> Oh, here we go. Let's go to ask when starting game. Also, I guess if we're going to play Phasmo, I need my headset again. <coughs> Sorry, chat. All right, who wants to get hunted? I think this is gonna be good for us to uh, like learn how to hide and run from the ghost and survive hunts. I feel like a lot of times I just give up. If it's hunting me and I can't find a spot in time, I just like die. I just give up. I'm like, take me, take me, take me to my death. Play Phasmo. <clears throat> Play regular Phasmophobia. Now does it say I'm playing in normal mode? We'll pause our lo-fi. Sheesh! No, it still says I'm playing in VR. Yeah, see, I don't know. I'm choosing the regular one, I swear. <clears throat> okay. Uh, okay, so do we have... We have tennis. We have... Ace. Ace Kalmu. Get in here. We're playing Phasmo. Come on. Let's ghost hunt. And we've got Rosantos. I don't know what you're on about, Chiki. I really don't. I really don't. Okay. Challenge mode. Yeah, hide and seek hide. The ghost wants to play a game. Or play a game. You better hide quick. Correctly find the ghost type in 13 Willow Street. Three different times for 5,000 months. 5,000 months. Challenge specific loadout is provided at no cost. Good luck. I like that it does that. That's just so convenient. Okay. Here you go, fazzies, fazers, phasmophobiers. I should probably plug my phone in so that it can charge before I have to go to sleep. <clears throat> so I will do that really quick while we're waiting on folks. Be orange? Okay, I will. I will, I'll stick to being orange. The only candy that I have that's not chocolate and not Jolly Ranchers. I like Jolly Ranchers, but they're kind of hard to eat while I'm streaming. Wait, Phasmo? How am I supposed to pick between Sim Shell and Phasmo? Finish your shell and then you can play Phasmo, okay? Finish your shell first. 
because I want to tour them tomorrow. You're the last one, so we're waiting on you. <laughs> finish, finish the shell, and then you can join us. Okay. The challenge mode is really scary. Have you seen it this week? We we start at zero percent sanity, and we have to figure out the ghost type on Willow Street. <laughs> That's tough. Yeah. Super spooky. <laughs> but I'm ready. I'm ready. <coughs> okay. Where's Ace? Ace! 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 Ace Camu, Ace Camu. What is this cool badge you have for Santos? This like blue one. Oh, it's a snowflake. It's pretty. <clears throat> it's so pretty. I'm guessing it's from the winter or the holiday hunting 2023 thing. Like the the snowman thing. That's fun. Okay, let's go ahead and play one just to see how it is. Um, and then Ace can join when he gets here. Yeah? A Christmas in it one. Gotcha, gotcha. Okay. I'm scared. I'm scared. I have toxic waste as my candy, and this toxic waste is quite literally. Uh, the candy that I had for the last, like, subathon, which was, like, two years ago. So this shit's old. But it's still yummy. Dun dun dun. Dun dun dun. Oh, we get to try out the new thermometer. Oh, nice. This other one. Okay, I'm all yours. I'm not in this world with anyone anymore. <laughs> I'm all yours. Hello, hello, welcome. I am very, very sleepy. Sleepy? Mask gonna change or you're gonna die from the ghost. What is this? Oh. oh, other dots. I see, I see. Do we need to take everything to the front? Or should we just... Uh, I don't know. What do you think? I don't know, I don't care. I mean, I, we gotta I, figure I, out what it is. Yeah. So we need the stuff, right? Yeah. What? Oh. I'm still just bringing everything to the front. We have a one minute timer, it looks like. Yeah, we have a setup time of one minute, so don't open that door just yet. One minute of no hunting. These crucifixes are going to be helpful. Oh, you want to do the challenge? We could do, uh, could do a regular one after this. 
I guarantee you we're gonna die. We're not gonna get this first one. You come out, Ace. Sorry, must organize. I think this guy is hella delayed. I feel like he's seeing things from <laughs> like 10 minutes ago. Got our nice clicky flashlights. Okay, let's leave the sanity in here. Sanity meds. How am I trolling? What am I doing that's trolling? We're literally getting set up. We're putting everything at the front door so we don't have to run back to the truck every single time. I don't know if you know this game. But once you open that door, you're trying to figure out what ghost is inside. <clears throat> Okay, we're dealing with Ted Winter. He responds to everyone. We need to repel the ghost with incense while it's chasing someone. Get EMF reader evidence and prevent it from hunting with a crucifix. We ready? Uh, I believe we need to get the fuse box. So, yeah, fuse box first and I don't know. Just just go looking for evidence right away. Yeah, get an EMF reader and a a temperature gauge. Bring a camera too in case you guys find the bone so we get a picture right away for sure. We have enough. So, camera, temperature gauge, EMF. Okay. We we got everything we need. Okay, Pog, you got EMF, I, I got EMF. Okay, cool. And... Yes. You should you should take a camera too, in case you find the bone. Just get that, like, out of the way. So we're not trying to run what, what, back in. What about flashlight, Pog? Uh, I would see, drop the spirit box for now. The spirit box doesn't work unless it's in their room. Okay. Ready? You said it's in the basement? The breaker? Yep. Okay, I'll go for the breaker. Alright, ready? Three, two, one, go! Go, go, go. Oh god. Complete 30 daily tasks, apparently. <laughs> All the way down at the end. Okay, power is on. There is a hiding spot all the way down at the end of the basement. We gotta kinda look out for hiding spots because apparently there's not many. Looking for a boner, looking for a boner, looking for a boner, hey, 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 hey! We gotta sing this song. <clears throat> yeah, we're doing the challenge run. Oh shit. Uh, I think it might be in the garage. What? No! Nice. I had my flashlight off, right? Wait, he got us both? 
Wait, really? At the same time? He got us at the same time. What the hell? I've never seen that before. <laughs> I oh. didn't know that was possible. You know what? If the difficulty is hard enough, when he kills someone, it extends the timer. So I bet he just killed oh. one of us first, and then... I think we're saying... Who <laughs> that? Where is he? Receptos? Well, that went really well. Like for bad and jokes for you. Yep, yep, yep. <laughs> yeah, I think yeah. this must be um, when it's when it kills someone, the kill timer or like the hunt period is then like refreshed and he can go and hunt more. That's hard. That's hard. Yeah. Yeah, he spawned like right behind me in the garage. Right when I realized it was in the garage. I was running, like, sprinting towards you because I thought I heard it from the basement. And then you said he's in the garage, and I was like, well, fuck, I just sprinted this direction, so <laughs> that's not helpful. Wait, where did you end up dying, Rosantos? In the basement. Oh, really? So he did go all the way down there. <sighs> Oof. <laughs> no, Ace. I just wanted you to get in here so that we had a full party. We have a better chance at getting him if we have a full party, right? Although I think we might go back to regular runs because Patty wants to do the challenge with us. Also, it would probably be better to warm up with regular runs. That's hard. Challenge mode's hard. Let's maybe stay away from Willow Street, too, if we're going to be doing that one a lot. So we don't get bored of it. Sure. Alright, Tennis, move your head so I can see. <laughs> there we go. Alright. Yeah, you go inside, and you're trying to figure out what type of ghost it is. There's a journal that we have here that has all these different ghost types. So we're just trying to figure out which one it is. Each ghost type has different pieces of evidence that they'll leave behind. Um, yeah, yeah, that's all the items. <laughs> I think Ace is coming on, so we'll wait for Ace to hop in. Hi, Jamer. Well, I always sing the boner song when we're looking for the bone. It helps summon the bone, you know? We have the tools right here on the screen. These. Hey, yo! How do you do? Howdy. I'm ready to die. <laughs> you won't die. This is a this is a regular run, not the challenge mode. Lucy Miller. I think this is the house with everything. Yeah. We don't need to move anything. Yeah. <laughs> You're sounding spooky, Rosantos. Yo, what? One digital camera and the rest are regular. Whoa. Oops. 
I'm sorry. <laughs> I, I took a picture, yeah, of people. I didn't mean to. Some cameras have the night vision thing, so I was seeing if it had night vision, but no. Uh, that is the video camera. Yeah. <laughs> Not the photo cameras. Yeah. Cameras, EMF readers, spirit boxes, ghost writing books, UV lights, parabolic microphones, motion sensors, incense, candles, salt, sound sensors, crucifixes. Uh, grab a camera and grab a thermos thermometer. Hey, yo, put your headgear on too. Oh, yeah, really headgear. Also, yeah, oh, press T to, to get it to work. Now that we know that's a thing. That's the thing, yeah. You want me to do the whole camp? <laughs> Wait, do I need a flashlight until then, or...? Yeah. Okay. Because this isn't the fancy one that'll give us night vision. Oh, okay. It's just a little... a little webcam. Or... or GoPro. Yeah, because Kid has the key. Alright! Let's go, let's go, let's go! Mm. I thought he said it was in the basement, but maybe I'm crazy. It must be in the garage. The breaker. Oh, a bone! I found the bone! Power is on. Yo, am I seeing my breath? True, true, we can drink whiskey to gain our sanity. That's a good thing. Everybody loves whiskey. Theoretically. <laughs> Hello, ghosty. Will you show us a sign? Where are you? We'd like to see you. Show us a sign. Where are you? Hello, go see. Hello. Are you getting... find any temperature drop. Hmm. I thought I saw my breath in the garage for a second, but then I stood there and I didn't see any more breath. But I'm not getting any EMF fluctuations. Well, that's the thing. We don't actually physically see the ghost until we piss it off enough for it to manifest. We can only pick up the magnetic frequencies of the ghost early on. or communicate with the spirit world to find out where it is. Lucy, where are you? Lucy. I see your breath going down the basement. It's down the basement, it's gotta be down here. Oh. Oh. Oh my god. Oh yeah, we get... <laughs> we get you. <laughs> that sounds so scary. Stop it. <laughs> I'm gonna go get more stuff. Oh, okay, in the hallway right here is where I'm seeing it. 
Oh, and in here. Okay. Like in the doorway area. So I'll drop an EMF here. I'll go grab more supplies. Santos sounds like a completely different person when he says that. <laughs> All right, I'm bringing both dots. Do it. I'll put this here. Does that work? Are you home? Right in the doorway. How old are you? Maybe that'll be enough. Okay. Hello. Getting more support. He does! You sound like salad fingers! What- what does he say again? I like spoons. I like spoons. <laughs> Do you like rusty spoons? Jesus Christ! Penis! Get your asses in here. We are scorpion. <laughs> oh, we do? Pog, I don't have a camera. Oh, it's like a pretty picture. It's someone bending over backwards and running so super fast. Stop it! Take a picture, take a picture, take a picture! Take a picture! They're getting real active and kind of aggressive. I'm scared. <coughs> Hi, Supa. Did I say that? We just started. Do we have cameras set? That Whoa. It's like an inception. <laughs> yeah, right. Just one outside? Yeah, outside, outside. Oh, there we go. Okay. <coughs> I'm gonna go set up motion sensors. You're scared you have to ask for help? Yelling penis. I don't need help yelling that. Two ghost writings. Nice. Okay. Am I okay? It's making scary sounds. <clears throat> Oh! I, 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 S wait, really? Unless, unless she actually showed up herself. Yeah, it could be. Like, we saw her shape. Yeah, oh, she, oh, she's, we, it, I know where she spawns, but it's... it's yeah, it's at back corner of the street. Our right net in the left. Okay, yeah. Okay, yeah. Do you see ghost orbs, too? If it's dots, it would be a fey. Let me see what a Thay does. The Thay will become active, defensive, and agile upon entering the location. 
and the Thay will weaken over time, making them weaker, slower, and less aggressive. So I guess if we, if this goes on and they get less active, it's for sure a Thay. Um, mares do like the dark. Mares like the dark, yeah. All right, we still need to get a photo. Let's do our tasks. Um, escape the ghost during a hunt. Parabolic microphone. So someone grab that microphone, and someone get some incense. I got some incense already. I'm not gonna fly. <clears throat> Does someone have the digital camera? This microphone. Uh, you right click. I think it's right here in the video, video camera. And then it like it makes everything kind of quiet around you, so you won't really be able to hear other people. Yeah, uh, but yeah, you just kind of walk around the ghost location. You can't hear the uh, radio. Oh, oh, thank you. I'll take a soft point. I'm waiting on it. You know what? Taking my whiskey. Uh oh. Or the other one down closer. Oops. Oh, so she did already. Hunt and get a crucifix. Hello. Are you here? Do we have any other? Do a box, oh. oh, that was spirit box. Yeah. So maybe it wasn't uh, or, or dots then. What did it say? Death to passing. Close to. I think close to passing. I think it was. Uh, oh, okay. Oh, it's a mare. Mares like the dark. Yep. Yeah. Show yourself. I need a picture for my scrapbook. <laughs> Show yourself! It's your turn. Are you the one I've been looking for all of my life? Show yourself! Come on. Come on out. Come on out! Don't be shy! Come on, little maresy, wearsy, wearsy, pearsy, flaresy, snaresy, wearsy. Come on! Come on out! Lucy! Lucy. 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 Lucy! Come here, little ghosty woasty. Lucy. Come on. I hear you messing with things. Are the lights off? It's hard to tell because our flashlights are so OP. Yeah. Uh, she broke the light bulb in there. <clears throat> oh, okay. The oh, okay. Oh, there's the other one. Lucy! Come on, Lucy! Lucy, Lucy, Lucy. Lucy, Lucy, Lucy. Lucy, Lucy, Lucy. Lucy, Lucy, Lucy. Have you heard it through the parabolic mic, mic yet, Ace? No, I haven't heard it. Yet. Hmm. Have any with you have to kind of like scan the room if that makes sense. Like use it a little slower. Yeah. And you have to kind of get it where they are. So frequently go back over places that she's spawned before. Lucy! Lucy, come on out! Oh. <laughs> where is she? Oh, fuck! What?! Why me? I thought I heard her from the the other angle, but I didn't actually see her. Ah, oh, that's stupid. That's stupid. I should have waited. 
it moved this into the back of someone's head. Well, I was chasing someone, we were chasing all of us down there, the three of us, I think that was... I want these two characters to taste up. Darn. Ghost. Mayor. Turn the light on around the mayor will lower his chance. Did you guys take the, you take the uh, light off, or did you blew the uh, bulb? She blew the bulb on the first one. Mm -hmm. touching the door. I know Kit can touch the door. Yeah, Kit's in here with us. So, you guys wanna do the extra stuff, or you wanna leave? Do it! Sure. There's still three of you! Do it! Take some whiskey! Up. Mm hmm. Sanity back up. Yes, we need the matches, otherwise it won't work. Can you need matches and incense? Yes. True, Chase. Nice. True. Light the matches, you said? Well, you just, for me, it's, it's left click on... That's what it does to, to do the smudge when you have the, the stick out. It's the opposite of what you interact with. There's dead me. Dead me. I look like I died very uncomfortably. See, I was gonna run back here, but then I was like, oh no, she's at the end of the hallway, then she's gonna see me. I should have just done it. Dead me. Do you think this counts as a hiding spot? Before she comes back. She's still hunting. Coming back. Yeah, you're dead. I was like, pause trap. She's still hunting. The way that people die in this is so difficult. Yeah, for Sandals dead too. Yeah. <clears throat> Resentos literally just stared her in the eyes. <laughs> I'm almost done, yay Patty. You let you just let her come at you. You just watched her. As she was still hunting. <laughs> Why not? That's crazy. I wanted, I wanted a hug. <laughs> you still have your smudge stick? Wait, really? Esca oh, escape the ghost. Oh, I thought that was the repel thing. 
No, we did the repel That's thing. Burn. Yeah. I used one. So I'm guessing so we didn't get the parabolic. Yeah. yeah. The parabolic yeah. takes some finesse. Going back in then, because we're definitely gonna die with our sanity this low. Uh, the parabolic is more used on the bigger maps, anyways. Yeah, I mean we could try to do the. Oh, that makes sense. Because it goes through walls. Oh, yeah. we're gonna die. One of us it's is easier. fucking there. It's easier that. to find a ghost with the parabolic. You know, only need the asylum and stuff. That's fair. Makes sense. You could technically use the parabolic upstairs then, and just stay out of the basement. Use the parabolic upstairs and then go hide when she hunts, because she's going to spawn downstairs. If you know where it spawns, then sure. But if you don't, then uh, hey, it's hunting. Yet. She's hunting. Better hide. Okay. So all your electronics are... Uh-oh. Where is she? Oh no, she has a... She has a sight. Oh, oh god. No. Ace, I hope you're hidden! Throw his electronics away. You need to get in a closet. Get in a closet. The, the ghosts are drawn to electronics, so as long as he has the electronics, he will know where to look. Uh oh. Uh oh. She's coming. Keyboard ASMR. <laughs> oh no. For now. <clears throat> Me? That was an experience. <laughs> Yeah, Pada, we are. Let 
let's go, let's go. Yay! <laughs> uh-huh. We have did it. Yo, but with some of the dailies and the weeklies, I got like a thousand for that. <gasps> and we got the upgraded spirit box! Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! Hey there, Donald Duck. <laughs> I see you, you guys trade more than Moss. So I don't have much. We have more than you? You are higher level than me. Oh! Yep, we are. <coughs> Good night, Pada! I don't even have all the items yet. Okay, we could probably do one more and then Patty's gonna be ready. And then we'll do. Challenge mode. Okay. So who who will Patty take in my spot for? Him? She can take my spot. I'm got a little bit of a headache, so. A oh, headache. Helping. Yeah. Helping. Photo camera. I guess I have some of the old photo cameras that we have to use first, or something. Or maybe that's someone else's. I guess that would make sense. It's probably someone else's. Uh, Probably mine. I don't know what the flashlight ups and downs means either, so... Probably means we are multiple... Uh, uh, tiers of them. The I think the line through means like tier two. Oh yeah, yeah. It does, it does indeed. Uh, I, I can remove all my stuff and can add you all yours. I mean, I don't mind working with old equipment. It's fine. We have the upgraded flashlights. That's what really matters. <coughs> and it has both upgraded spirit box. I'm thinking... I mean, yeah, the photo camera's fine. I don't mind it. It has one cam upgraded and one... Yeah. Bogey. That's okay. All good. I lost my oh. DC. That's okay, we go again. Yes, can you be a gentleman? I'm not a dude. Hmm? Yes. He said he'll be right back. Ace cow move. Ace cow move. Ace cow moo, ace cow moo, ace cow moo, ace cow moo. Again, there we go. I was gonna say, I can't see the ready up button when people put their faces in the board. <clears throat> I see, I see, it's another game key, Supa. Is it for Power World? People who are alone? Three tests are easy at least. Crucifix, yeah, incense and ghost event. I like the yet. I like the it a lot. This map is so bright. It's like it's literally like daytime. Like the sun is rising. Yeah, it's a lot. So weird. All right, I'll let you know, you Supa. Every, you wanna dump everything here? Yep. Everyone's breath.
Meow, 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 meow. Oh, that looks freaky. Looks like Halloween up there. there home stretch all right we can leave the whiskey in there let's go 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 powers in the garage okay I right, grab EMF No hiding spots out here. That's spooky. But here there are. Oh. EMF 5 in the garage. Shit's being thrown. Just like right here. It's kind of crazy. I walk away from that bookshelf and it's gone. No, the second I leave the garage. Uh, temperature's dropping here. Oh, really? Uh -huh. Hmm. Yeah, temperature's still going down. Oh. Wait. It's just like right in the doorway. Out here. And I guess a little bit in here. But it stopped. Oh, right about here. We have two EMFs. We could put one in the garage and out here. Do you want us to leave? We didn't get the bone yet, right? For a boner, looking for a boner, looking for a boner. Hey, 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 hey. Ooh, there's like no hiding spots in this closet. Usually there's more stuff. That's creepy. <laughs> Down. Found the bone. It was in bed. It was a big old thick girthy spine bone. The garage? The yeah, the in the garage. See, I'm kind of thinking it's the garage. We can have, we'll set one camera pointing up at this, like, doorway. Yeah, it's, it sounded like he was uh, kind of in the garage. Oh, he just stepped in the stuff. Hello? The garage, so. Are you here? Are you here? Speak to me. 
Hello? Are you here? Remember the ghost responds to people alone too, so we may be getting like mixed signals until we isolate it. Okay, so that was no one. Yeah. It, it happened earlier when we were setting up. Oh. Okay, yeah. It's it's messing with the piano and the uh, PC now. So I guess you forced it out of there. He's up. Yeah, I cleansed him here and that's that checked it off for us. Okay. Can you write in the book, please? We were very happy to write in the book, please. Hey, give me up your friend. Do we have anything yet? Like, any sign doing anything? Oh, the EMF-5, right? That's it? Yeah, EMF-5. That makes sense. Go check the dots. <laughs> no, no scares. That one didn't get me. <laughs> the last one did. <laughs> I saw dots. I saw dots. I said dots. Oh, I see a ghost. Yep, I just saw dots and a ghost orb. Mm, yep. Dots! Dots! Arise you! That's the electrical device one, right? It has been doing that. Yep. Do we have anything else that you have been done? Crucifix, and then we're done. Yeah. Oh wait, you mean evidence. We have... Yeah, yeah. It, it's a Raiju. Hunt, kill, murder, stab. Come on. Come on out, come on out, wherever you are. Hello, ghosty. Come on out. We want to see you. We want to see you, ghosty. Come on out, ghosty! I'm worthy to be decapitated! Thomas Gracie! Thomas Gracie, Thomas Gracie, Thomas Gracie. Yeah, uh, Raiju. Uh, Raiju uh, can siphon power from nearby electronic devices. Make it move faster. Thomas Gracie. Thomas Gracie. Thomas Gracie. Thomas Gracie. There we go. That's what we wanted. Nice, nice, nice. Cool. All right, everyone's got Raiju selected. Let's get a move on. Yay, that one was quick.
back. I've got some jobs ready for you. Is Patty Mayhaps ready? Ready? Pissy Patty, Pissy Patty, Pissy Patty. <clears throat> Living room left and then she's done. So one more, one more. No, that wouldn't work. That wouldn't work. Emote only chat. I don't have my timer with me. Three minutes. Save for three minutes. Save the old word. <laughs> uh, I haven't. I haven't been. I've been in Phasmo. Um. Lots of people are playing this. Lots of people on my friends list are playing this. It's very true, very true. We got a lot. We got a lot. Okay. So excited to play in this build because I love it. Yay! I'm glad. Um, okay, we gotta do emote only chat for three minutes. Is it three minutes? I think it's three minutes, so... Uh, I believe this is what this is. And I'll start my timer. Mima, 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 mima. One minute. Campsite? Y'all want to do campsite? <coughs> True, yeah, VIPs can uh, negate emote only mode. Or Santos, maybe you should look into voice acting. Um, no. <laughs> Do we need anything else? I think. More incense, probably. Yeah. Oh, we did? And photo cameras. What? Why does it do that? <laughs> what, you want me to add stuff? No, don't. <laughs> uh, auto add is bugged, it doesn't add. Uh, auto buy is also bugged, it doesn't always auto buy. So you should have it on all at all times and then buy it all. And, uh, yeah, I do. No, no, you have them both checked. On, uh, you have a load up one then for me. What? You have a load up one. That means every 
the bottom minus one will be added. A loadout one? Loadouts tab. The loadouts tab. Yeah. Oh, you're saying... You storage tab. But... No, not, you got the all the ones and then two. Got it all the what? <laughs> what the loadouts again? Loadout. Click loadout. I did, I did. All the bottom. Click all oh. the bottom. There's an all tab. Oh. So, well, I don't want all of everything though. I don't. I don't care for the tripods, for example. I don't really think those are useful, unless we're in like a giant map. I don't want to waste months, so I don't want to fill it all up. I got one. One's fine. Yeah, I feel like we never use them. Yeah, par one parabolic microphone's fine. Okay. I think that's uh, fine. Firelight, whatever, whatever. Candle! Oh. There you go. It didn't sound. It didn't make a noise. I thought it was going to make a noise. But now emote mode, only mode's done. I think that's... Okay. There we go. Yeah, 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 okay. Yay! All right, chat. Yeah, you're free. Sorry to cage you, but blame her Santos. Also, yes, super. Yes, yes. Thank you for Pal World. <laughs> People who are alone. All right, we're close enough, so we don't need to bring everything to the front, I think. Mara! Thank you so much, Mara, for the raid. Thank you, thank you. Hi, yo, friends of Mara. It's me. <laughs> thank you, I appreciate it. Hi, Wiggles! <coughs> Dumping us like a bad habit? No, Mara loves you all. Oh, I feel like the truck is in backwards. Wait, oh, is this the huge one? Frick, this is the huge one, isn't it? Yeah, you, you did the big one. I didn't vote for it. You chose it. I didn't choose it. Where Santos chose it. Probably where Santos. Well, frick. Let's just put motion sensors. I'm gonna put one right there in those doors. Just, uh, try to... I don't know, yeah, try to find anything you can, and if you see anything, let us know, because this map's hard. Found yeah, we have to find the key. I don't know where to put these motion sensors. I'm putting one by the generator. Found the key. That's fast. And I think one motion sensor at the start of the house would be good too. Spoopy games, yeah. Yeah. Playing more Phasmo. Hi, call him kitten. Hello. This is a shortcut to the back. Tell her to stop kicking me into the pool. What pool? Alright, 
I'm off to get more supplies. Actually, this is a shortcut too. Wait, is it? Yeah. You can hot you. It's really nasty in there. <laughs> okay. I wish this map was easier to read. Where are these marked as separate floors? That's annoying. It's on me. Right next to the generator. You're getting activity there? Nice. Um, I feel like I was going to bring something else, but I don't remember. <laughs> Gosh, sneezy. Hydrate. Cheers, Lauren. I forgot how to get to the generator again. Not through the house, or through the little, like, lobby. To the left? Yeah, follow me. Right here. Okay. Ah, ah, okay. Hog. Can't set that up there. Ghosty, I heard you're in here. Why are you choosing this stinky hole? Hello? Are you there? Can you speak to us? Can you show us a sign? Is there anything you'd like to say? Hello? Are you there? This is uh, one of the campsites. It's really gross. <laughs> it's the big campsite. Uh, Maple something lodge? Uh, I don't know. Alright, I'm throwing the spirit box in the sink. Getting more supplies. Oh, you're getting EMF out here, too. Oh. Ace is getting EMF out here, too. Hmm. Hopefully it's not a twin situation. Or hopefully it is, because it's... I don't want it to be roaming. In the bathroom? Nice. Yep, below freezing in the bathroom. Ooh, it went hunting for a split second. Or something. Something spiked up to a 10.
Do you think this counts as a hiding spot? I feel like you're not hidden at all here. But it kind of feels like it should be a hiding spot. I guess you can hide here. <laughs> the tents are so wacky to hide in. They are, but the doors are weird. Uh, Am I making your headache worse? I guess I'll bring a fire light. <clears throat> Why not? I love all the fireflies in the like background forest area. That's cute. That's cute. <gasps> oh my gosh, ghost there's ghost writing in the book in the hall. Or the I guess if you could Call this a hall. Did we get ghost riding in the bathroom? Yeah. No. Oh, we did. We did, we did. Uh. Let's bring one of these spirit boxes oh. out in the hall. I yeah. I I'm taking one of these out here, just in case. Hello? Yeah. It's like shaking wildly a little bit. Shaking? Yeah, it's like it's like dots. What? Dots? It can't be dots. Oh, can't be dots, okay. <laughs> Wait, what's the other piece of evidence that we have? Oh, freezing temps and the Ghost writing? Yep. Okay. No dots. I feel like a demon would have already attacked us. Yeah, I agree. Do we have more souls? Yeah, we do. Yeah, I'll bring two. Should any of the cameras be repositioned, Tennis, or any of the dots? Or I guess we don't care about dots, never mind. This is so quiet. Where? How do I? I'll put the full salt in the sink in case you want to do more with it. Wait, so is this stepped in or what? This is weird.
Yo, what's going on? Only EMF war. I heard a ha. She prefers her men alone. Bro, I was trying to to scare I was standing on the other side, like the other bathroom wall. Are we sure it's and making or noises or? for Rosantos, but he didn't fall for any of them. <laughs> Good morning. Because you turned on the uh, uh, shower in this one, in the other one. I did that. <laughs> Wait, what was his question, though? Are we sure it's? Yeah, she hunted for a second. Ew. understand what he says half the time. It's mumbly. Welcome back. Where's the gym? Did you survive? Yeah. Yeah, uh, right where the motion sensor is, where, where the ghost spawned in front of me. You didn't get a photo? Okay. I didn't have a camera. Yo! I don't walk around with it. I don't walk around with cameras. You should Those always. Especially if you there, have everything set out. cameras in here. There's one other, because I have one, but there's one other somewhere. I don't have one. He, he is probably thrown out. Oh my god. Oh no. Ace! Uh, Ace! Is dead. I heard it. Where'd he die? Nor! Ace! Nor! Couldn't get a picture. Ace! A snore. I'm too scared to go in alone. Yeah. So, like, the, the shade is shy. <clears throat> what does the shade need? EMF. The shade oh, is shy okay. They prefer people to be alone. EMF level five. I'm, I'm gonna say fuck straight bus. Yeah. yeah, if it hasn't talked yet. Unless we have, I mean, uh, we're sure it's not like the check. hallway. Can, is, can you check can you the camera in the other bathroom? Yeah, if you want. Since you have the most battery. We can, we can pop some, uh, drink whiskey. Pop some whiskey and, yeah, pop some whiskey. Get up on my level. Yeah, I think we just need to make sure that we have the exact location. It could be, I don't know, because Ace was getting some EMF in this tent area, like just outside. So maybe we run around with the spirit box there too. If it's not answering in the bathroom. Uh, it's, uh, it's hard to hear uh, anything when the generator is on, so. Well, yeah, yeah, let's take the spirit box. One person takes the spirit box to the campsite, and then one hangs around the hall in the bathroom. <clears throat> With what? Uh, should I bring the crucifix? Here, you take that camera. I'll take a crucifix. You take a crucifix. I'm gonna also take a spirit box when we get over there. 
And let's just try to get a photo and pinpoint its location. Poor Ace. I wonder where he died. Oh. Right here. Ew, we got poop water. Where's the other spirit box? Hello? Are you here? Hello? Is anyone there? Hello? Will you talk to us? Hello? Is anyone there? Hello? Can you hear us? Is anyone there? Hello? Oh, he turned off the generator so we can hear. Hello? We've turned off the power! You can come and hunt us if you want! Hunt. Kill. Destroy. Murder. Stab. You could do all those things if you wanted. because we're outside in the campground or, or what yeah well i remember in before the update temperature gauges were actually rendered ineffective in outdoor maps because it was always freezing okay. i don't know if that still applies are you here hello are you old are you young Wait, is it one in that bathroom or the other? Yeah, I mean, temps are getting warmer out here, so I guess maybe that tidbit of info isn't the case. It is getting freezing, like, just here in this area, too. Yeah, it's like from this this gateway to the the bathroom. Yeah. <clears throat> wow. Ew, there's a bucket of poop water over here. Hello? They you want us to leave? Whoa! It's loud! Don't forget to drink water! Thanks, ghost. Cheers! I need to pee though. It's a lot of water. Yeah. What's the Maroi do? The weaker their victims, the stronger the Mori becomes. Mori suffers from hypothermia, weakening them for longer periods. Um, I'm gonna. 
It's more a... Uh, it's a hypothermia, by the way. That wasn't that what that said. Hypers hyperosmia. That's the, the sensitivity to sounds. I wonder what's considered a sound that would upset them. Maybe the bird fox is. But isn't that... <clears throat> I'm, I'm gonna oh, that was me. I'm actually gonna do a line. Uh, ultraviolet. And uh, bird fox. Yeah, that's why I was saying, I think it's a shame. We got it to four. I haven't seen any ghosts. Right, uh, I'm gonna go back to the truck. See if, see if there are any ghosts. I've been checking for a while. I never saw any, but feel free to double check. Did you check when I had the camera in the other room too? Nope. I feel like we have a camera there. What if we turn this camera facing the hallway where they where they keep spawning? I just moved one to face uh, the campsite, like the hallway there. Fuck. <gasps> PP. See, she did yeah, not spawn bit. there. She spawned over here. No, like over there, yeah, like to our left, yeah. I don't know, man. Fuck. Got like a wide ass range or something. I don't know. Yeah? Doesn't she just sing? God damn it! I shouldn't have talked back. I shouldn't have talked back. I should have just let tennis die. I should have let tennis die. <laughs> it's just not there at all. Not a single one, unless there is one in the mid in the in between the back. Yeah, and, and so camera. like where where it spawned was you see that tent right there on that camera? Like it's she yeah, spawned, spawned like out there. Yeah, I know. She spawned like right where the uh, sensor is, the new move, moving sensor is. Yeah, okay. Well, I'm fine with she is. The sensor. Okay. Bye. She's gonna line. kill us all! Yeah, we guessed yeah. right. I just wanted to take a picture, man. You know. I, <laughs> I like how Kit tried to go hide in the tent, and then I just, I didn't even hear her, like, until you said something. I was like, oh, shit. Yeah, <laughs> well, she so started humming, and I went to go hide, and then you were like, are you trying to hide in the tent? And I shouldn't have responded, because I still heard her humming. And I was like, why, like, why are you talking? But yes, she's hunting, go hide. And yeah, then I, I died. I did not hear her until you said that. Then I went, oh, shit, and I ran back to the building. And I heard you die. My bad. Frick! Uh, she might have heard me hide in there too, though, or like saw me. Was this uh, the uh, the uh, switch? What? What about the uh, switch? Oh yeah, I think so. Soon. I need a bathroom break, regardless. So I will be right.
Hi. I'm back. What the fuck, ghost? <laughs> Tennis left? Sand. Yes, yes, this is true. All the Patty shows us AFK. Too busy building in the Sims. Building. Oh, I'm almost done, I swear. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> almost done, almost done. And then we do the challenge mode and we die over and over again. one on the smallest map on insane mode that's willow or jungle. yeah that, that's willow street that's the one that's in the challenge we'd basically just be doing the challenge but spending money okay oh. <laughs> i'm getting broke buying all this gear and then dying i need to stop dying i don't have any money i'm not going to be able to afford the next upgrade I'm just here. Whew. Chicky. Meow, 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 meow. Meow, 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 meow. I want more maps. I don't want to do insane though. We'll definitely die. You can do custom. Nah, then we won't get many rewards. It'll knock us back down to one times rewards, and that's not worth. Wait. Custom is one times. It's for the settings that I want. Yeah, I tried it the other day, and it wasn't like they adjust based on your settings, but whatever settings I had, even though it seemed fairly difficult, it wasn't, uh, wasn't going up past one. <clears throat> Let's just speed run this one. Speed run? Speed oh, run, you know, speed I'm a professional run. Walker. Speed hey, run, speed run, speed run. Need working. Speed run, speed run, speed run, speed run. Sound. Right. Oh, Shannon. Shannon. I want Jason back. I miss Jason.
candle, but then again, it's also late. And we're probably going to be not up for too much longer. But also candle. Fuck it, I'm lighting it. I'm lighting a candle, IRL. You scared of God? <laughs> I just want good smells. Not being up much longer. Copium. I know, I keep waking up later and later, though. I keep letting you guys down. Okay, but if we're gonna do this, like, get up at 5 a.m. thing, I need someone else to get up with me. Because, like I said, I did! I did set my alarm for 5 a.m. and I went to go and chat. And I, I started talking. No 5 a.m. And no one was talking back. <laughs> no 5 a.m. <laughs> Even the 7 a.m. <laughs> 7 a.m. is normal. Don't you want to go big or go home? I'd say I will, but I 1000% off for sleep. Fair. Alright. Uh, Shannon Anderson, remember. Powers in Garage. I already did, this morning. He loves it. Okay, I'm ready. Is everyone ready? Got their tools? Yeah, no, I, I don't. I don't have. I don't have my um, my uh, pick of the day. <laughs> Your flashlight? I have. My, I have my flashy. I need my dotty. I have my dotty. What else do I need? I need my boxy. I have my boxy. I'm ready. Okay. Let's go. Always in this freaking room. I feel like I gotta check this first. Looking for a boner. Looking for a boner. Looking for a boner. Hey, 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 hey. Anyone here? We have power. <laughs> That's good. Ooh, tarot cards. <clears throat> Wheel of Fortune. I don't know what that means. My dust doesn't work. Tarot cards. What'd you get? The sun. What? The sun. Oh, the sun. I don't know what that means. Oh, EMF five. Right around you. Far. Where are you? What? Where are you? It's far and wide. The what? Bro, the spirit box sucks ass. Where are you? It's far and wide. Far and wide. Okay. Are you near? Are you far? Hello? Where are you? No, oh, it's only answering up here. Where are you? Hello? Where are you? 
Are you here? Are you near? Just take it away. Away? Are you here? Are you here? The next contestant on Wheel of Fortune. Poggers! I could win money if I'm smart. Hello? Are you here? No. Okay, are you near? Okay. I think we just have a... a ghost in the living room. They're saying close. Oh, really? Well, there was EMF 5 over here, too, earlier. Yeah. When the first started speaking. I don't know. I'm it, it I'm Are you here? Are you near? Are you far? Is anyone there? Are you here? Hello? Are you here? It's not answering the spirit box at all in any other location except for this one. The living room. How old are you? An elderly individual. Yeah, it's only answering here. Can you write in the book? I don't know if EMF 5 is going to count, or if that was just because a tarot card was pull pulled. But, yeah, I don't know. I can pull another one. One of them is you die instantly, <laughs> so just be careful. Yeah, I, don't, I don't care. I can, I can pull another one. How many have you pulled? One. Oh, just the sun? Do we know what that means? I have no clue. Because I got, I pulled Wheel of Fortune. I don't know what that means either. I want to get... I want to get some more stuff set up in this room first, I think. The devil. Gosh dang it. What was that? <laughs> we need thermometer. I'll throw away this camera. You want me to pull another one? No! You're gonna die! So? Okay, temperature is indeed dropping in this room. Yeah, it's at like 35 right now. Oh, okay. Good, good. Do it. Do not yet, not yet. Let us get set up. You're gonna die. Nah. Okay. Dots, dots. <laughs> dots, dots, dots. What, what, what do I? I don't have shit. Mm. I don't think I really want anything else unless... Yeah, is there any fingerprints on anything it's been touching? Well, not footprints on the salt, but yeah, the UV footprints, yeah. Yeah, no, uh... Oh, yeah, 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 okay. Just, like, try it freezing. Just not quite below. Yeah. It seems to happen. Show us a sign. Talk to us. 
Show us a sign. Monka? Bro, what? Oh. Okay. They spawned in the basement. What? They spawned in the basement. I think they're in the basement. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. What? I was wondering why I heard footsteps, but I was like, huh? Where is it? Yikes. I went to, down to the basement to talk on the spirit box, though. Are you near? Hello? Yeah, that's so weird. What the heck? Is anyone here? Hello? I think it's here. I think it's to the spawn. Yeah. I think it's on the door. Like here. And then. And it went downstairs first? So that doesn't make sense. I don't know. Where's the where? UV, UV, UV. I want UV. Oh, yeah, yeah. This door is dumb. Oh god, the crucifix. Uh oh. Okay, let's go watch cameras for a bit and regain sanity. At least that's my plan. Yeah, I set them up. <clears throat> uh, I think you turned one down unless you placed it on the floor. Think what? Did you place a camera on the floor? Not on the floor. This oh, one's. Camera on the floor. This one's on the couch. They're both on the couch. One's facing into no, the living room. On the floor. What? This one's on the floor. I see the couch. That is the the bottom of the table. No, <laughs> this is the couch. No, this is that is the bottom of the table. No, it's right side up. I set it there. I would know. And this is the back wait, of the couch. Wait, wait. We we don't have the same view. Oh. Interesting. Oh, I'm seeing something different too? Oh, okay. That's weird. Uh yeah, the, uh, the <laughs> camera is on, uh, it's on the ground. <laughs> did you pull a card? I did pull a card, these. Cam two is on the ground. Oh. Did I just see dots or Always when I look at chat. Well, this cam three, right? Wait, so this one's the one that's on the ground for you? No, oh, no, no, no. this one. Two. Okay, I see. Two. There's numbers in the bottom. Oh, that's dots. Yeah, do you see that? Yeah, yeah okay. That's this dots. And that means that we will not actually get footprints. Yeah, because I noticed that. They hadn't been stepping in the salt. Is that the... Oh, just because they fly. They don't fear the salt. If they fly. They hover. Hover, yeah. And can go through walls. Maybe that's why they were in the basement. All right, we need to capture a photo and get parabolic microphone. Let's take some whiskey, two each. Wait for it to take effect and then go on in and try to get that stuff. We don't have parabolic. Yeah, there's Unless one at the door. door. Yeah, it's, it's by the door. There's only one. Okay. I'll try to get a camera pick. I'm just scared. Might set up the sound sensor in here too so we can hear from the truck. Maybe you could fix the camera while you're in here too if you see it weird. 
Camera two, I guess. Oh. It is here, but... Yeah, I don't know. Hmm. Weird. Um, okay. Hold on, I need, a, I need a spot to run and hide. I'm scared. I hate the closets because I feel like they don't. Oh, you are? But I need to capture a photo. Uh, give me the camera. <laughs> <laughs> okay, wait. Let, let, let me get back to the truck then, real quick, so I can watch it on the cameras. <laughs> Wait, now the- now both cameras are facing the TV for me. You should fix one to face the hallway. Real quick. There we go. Can you see me? I can. The hermit? I want to know what these mean. One more. Uh oh. I don't know where it was. <gasps> Good night, tennis. I hope your headache gets better. No cat, I caught you in 4K. Doing what? Hi, Naruto. Do you want me to pull another one? Is there only one left? How do you know? There is a uh, few left. Oh, okay. I mean, do whatever you're comfortable with. I got the gesture. Hmm. I definitely want to look up all these One after. More. One more? I mean, sure. It might be death, though. Dang. Then? What do you mean, then? Wait, we have our evidence. I'm- I'm chillin'. We can leave, or, you know, you can- you can pull the other card if you want. Try to get a photo, though. Your sanity's still really high. I'll try. It's at 76. Then one more. Hmm. Okay, okay, ghost event. It doesn't show up as a photo for me. Why does it have to be a kid wraith? Damn, you got lucky? No instant death one. I got the devil twice. Oh, the devil? That was the ghost event. Gotcha. <clears throat> I tried to get a photo of them, but I don't know if it works. Oh, 
Yeah, I don't I don't see a ghost photo on my end. It didn't work. I don't know where it spawned. I'm, I'm trying to do it where it spawned for uh um, kill me. Every tarot card and what they do. Okay, I'm reading up on tarot cards. Yeah, I'm 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 gonna read up on what they do. Oh wait. How much sanity do I have? Uh what did you do? A hundred percent you have a hundred percent. What did you do? <laughs> uh the wheel of fortune ups your sanity. Oh. Weird. The fool. Okay, with the devil. With a pink burn color, the devil card looks as scary as it feels to use. This 10% draw chance for the devil makes card makes for a fairly common pick. And upon pulling said card, players will trigger a ghost event towards whichever player is nearest to it. This could cause some scares and perhaps even influence a hunt. There is a 17% chance to pull the fool. This jester card has a unique effect that will often trick players when pulling the tarot card. An undesirable card might be pulled before a light purple flame ignites the card, revealing this card was actually the fool in disguise. The fool has no effect and is merely a surprise. Oh, and is merely to surprise the player. Players have a 100% chance to get the fool if they pull a card during a hunt. So if players don't want that card, it's best to wait for the hunt to end. The Hanged Man is a card that players should fear the most. The Hanged Man is the rarest tarot card in Phasmophobia and has a pull rate of 1%. However, this doesn't mean it's impossible to draw. Upon drawing the Hanged Man, it's best to say goodbye to the friends that are in the game as the player is instantly killed by the ghost. There is no flame color for the Hanged Man. The player will have a demonic hand taken over their face, snap their neck, and kill them, if they, even if there is no hunt. There is no way to avoid a Hanged Man tarot card pull. Players will just have to risk the 1% pull chance. The Hermit, with a cyan burn color featuring for the Hermit card, players might enjoy the use of the Hermit when being pulled. This card will force the ghost back into its ghost room by teleporting it there and trapping it inside for one minute. Ah. This means that a roaming ghost will be forced back into its favorite room. However, this does not work during a ghost event or a ghost hunt, and the Hermit has a 10% pull rate. High Priestess, the second rarest tarot card in Phasmophobia is the High Priestess with a 2% drop uh, chance the high priestess is perhaps the best tarot card in phasmophobia and has oh and the one they are going to want to pull due to its power with a light yellow burn and color the high priestess will bless players by randomly reviving a dead player <gasps> oh shit so if someone's dead you should use the tarot card to try to revive them however if no one is dead then the next player to die will be resurrected essentially making the high priestess an extra life cool okay the moon Players won't want to pull this card with a white burn color. The moon has a 5% draw chance and has an undesirable effect on players due to the fact that it will instantly drop the sanity of the player that pulled this card to 0%. This makes them a vulnerable, vulnerable victim to the ghost and its hunts, thanks to having 0% sanity, which could help strengthen some ghosts. The sun, the opposite of the moon, the sun card will provide the player who pulls this card with 100% of their sanity. Ah. <clears throat> Cool, cool. The tower, with a rather common chance of 20%, the tarot card will burn blue once pulled. The tower can be useful, but annoyingly common to get as it will cause the ghost interaction as well as increase ghost activity for 20 seconds. This can lead to further discoveries and evidence for what type of ghost is in Phasmophobia. Another one of the most common tarot cards in Phasmophobia, the Wheel of Fortune card, is pulled with a 20% chance. This is the only card in the deck to have two features the player can lose 25 percent sanity or gain 25 percent sanity if the card burns green they have gained 25 percent sanity if the card burns red the player has lost 25 percent sanity that's a so the four wheel of fortune played a over green so i just got sanity also you pulled a sun though the sun instantly bumps you to 100 percent yeah so i guess i get sanity for days that's kind of crazy so I would say the tarot cards are probably worth using then if there's only a 1% chance of death. Uh, it's a 2% chance for revival too. Yeah. Just to get the revival then the death. Yeah, exactly. Most likely get a death before you get the revival. Seems kind of neat. All right. Um, uh, you go, you go, so we, uh, we leave? 
Are you ready? I don't think so yet. Do you want to try to get these last two uh, goals? Parabolic microphone and photo? Uh, no. No? <laughs> We do need Ace back. Oh yeah, sorry. Faith. Forgot to double check if you had it. Yeah. I, I did at least. Alright, one more run before Patty gets in, maybe. Let's do one of the farmhouses. Let's do the let's do uh, I always forget which one I like more. I think it's this one. <clears throat> um I think we just stay with what we have. <laughs> I should be sleeping, but been awake the whole night checking on my tracking for my package. I know, getting a package can be exciting, huh? <coughs> just gonna have to save it like this. It's perfect the way it is, Patty. I know. I know. Huh. I'm getting yawny. Ten PM. Ten PM. Oh, does that mean we're doing the uh challenge mode if Patty's getting in here? Challenge mode, challenge mode, challenge, challenge, challenge mode. Spoon is streaming Harry Farts. <laughs> what? <laughs> That's his uh, no pixel character. <laughs> I haven't been able to watch anyone do any RP. Role play? Yeah. Called Depresso. Remind me if you, since your title somewhat was Don't Be Depresso, join Kids Presso. Don't Be Depresso, have some Kids Presso. Yep. That's what it was. But like, Roleplay is watching a real person. What do you mean? Yeah. Damn it. If this was, if this had red on it. So well, some of the RP nowadays is also people still being themselves. Dang, there's a lot of people playing Power World now.
can be confused. So I'll do three, play Power and do play Valorant. Valorant! Valorant! It's your subversary. Yeah, but I feel weird subbing. It's fine for now. When I'm streaming. That's weird. I feel weird enough doing this. I'm gonna go to the dungeon again. And I was like, they just said that, dude. Waiting on a patty. We're waiting on a patty. Bless you. Bless you. Waiting on a patty. We're waiting on a patty. Yay! Waiting on a patty. Waiting on a patty. Meow! <laughs> Kitty, what do you want? She's second guessing because she thinks I'm gonna smother her. She would be right. while you ghost hunt. Got a hankering for the cookies. I want some cookies. That actually sounds really nice right now. Yo, I might go get some chocolate candy. I've been craving some chocolate lately. Chocolate! Chocolate! What are they selling? Chocolate! I'm gonna be right back. Do I have to hashtag again? Um, just hashtag Kitspresso for now. Um, I realize that the right way to do it is to pick like a really funky saying and then hashtag it so that all you have to do is search that hashtag. But yeah. <coughs> In the future. Okay, I got some I got some chocolate. I got some chocolate coins and some peanut M&Ms and a Rolo and a Reese's, which I don't usually like, but you know what? I'm going to try it and see. Just I'm feeling kind of chocolatey. I got a Hershey's Kiss and I got some Lindor Linda Lind, 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 the little ball chocolates, but they're like squishy, so I'm confused. Why are they squishy? Are they like melted? I think they're like melted. Melty. This one's white chocolate. Not gonna lie, that one just burst in my mouth. I was like a gusher.
a lot of packs. I used a lot of packs in mine too. You never really realize until you put it up. I think custom content. Oh yeah, you mean like the tag, the filter? That's fine. Yeah, I won't be able to see the custom content item, but. Yeah, yeah. Thanks for the follow. Ding. All of my chocolate's like melty. It's only 76. Mm, okay. Yeah, we were waiting. <laughs> Should we play one more before you're ready? Okay, okay. Corkies. Corkies. I am so confused. I definitely opened this. I opened this bag of coins because I've had one. How did it seal itself back up? Maybe I opened a different one? Maybe I have two? Chocolate coins. But cookies, go get cookies. Go get cookies and bring them back. You're making my cat triggered because you're making me say the word cookies so much. Go get cookies and bring them back. And you can eat cookies while we hunt ghosts. I don't have any for you, I'm sorry. I don't have any cookies. You already had some today. I know. A full dunk in the milk. You're gonna be up here, kitty. You have to lay down. Challenge mode, challenge mode, challenge mode. <clears throat> it's on Willow. Wait. Oh, well, I don't think we have, we choose. I think it's just Willow. Yeah, but challenge mode specifically says at Willow Street. So if we're on challenge, I don't think we can do any others. Oh, weird. Why would you not want to use the free challenge gear? I guess, I guess. All right. All right, we're here. Take a look at 
So do we each do a whiskey? Each do a what? A whiskey. Oh. A shot of whiskey. Oh yeah, I forgot we start with whiskey. Um, I think we have we have a little bit of time. We have one minute. Pointless. So let's go set up, at least, and then we can come back out. Um. <clears throat> Waffling? I want waffles. Definitely gonna need those crucifixes. Okay, now remember, we only get one minute, so we all have to be super alert. We gotta go straight for the power, and we gotta have our ghost hunting tools like the EMF and temp out all the time. Power is indeed in the basement. <clears throat> I can go for the power. Might also be helpful to like call out um, hiding spots, as I don't think there are many, and we're gonna need them. Okay, Ben, let's go. I'm ready. Let's go. Bathroom door is open. is on and there is hiding all the way at the end of the basement the hallway fuck I forgot to grab an EMF I was so focused on getting that power
that just an event? Bone in the garage for whoever has a camera. Monkle. Oh my god! <gasps> I can breathe. I can talk. Oh my god. Okay, okay. I forgot to mention earlier. Ms. Santos, are you still alive? No, I think he's dead. Fuck! Um, a killing, uh, like, increases the hunting duration. So when someone dies, it's still not safe to come out. You have to stay hiding. <clears throat> I forgot that little, that little detail. Um, fuck. Let's, I'd say let's go take some whiskey now, since it's just us two. We know which room it is. It's the back left bedroom? Back or left. Back left or back right? Yeah? yeah? Okay. Back left. Okay. Take two each. Wait for it to take, it a, take effect. Yeah. Yeah. The ghost is a roamer. He's gonna roam. It was coming at me from the basement. Oof. Yeah, you got a lot of sounds on the hallway and bathroom. And the uh, vent that we saw, it was on that back left room, so. Okay. So I guess let's run and put the important stuff in the back. Do we get any evidence? Like EMF 5 or anything? Uh, I don't think number hit 5. Most of Wait! Four. The whiskey doesn't even help your sanity, look! I thought we just started at zero sanity. I didn't know we were stuck at zero sanity. Why do they even give us whiskey? Truly is pointless. <laughs> um, okay. I guess let's just, let's just run in. Let's try to put like a ghost book back there. And uh... I don't know, the obvious things. And maybe like a camera with dots, a spirit box would be obvious. Okay, you got a book? I'll get a yep. spirit box. Um, I have a crucifix too. Do you want to grab... Drop the book or? You have to press F to place it. I think it only works like on the carpet or whatever, like inside, once you're inside. So you can't test it out here, but... um. Okay, so you have book, I have crucifix, spirit box. 
Do we have a video camera? Oh, these tripods. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, let's go double check where they are. It is actually... Tennis and I hid in the same spot earlier, Patty, and he got us both in the same spot. It was kind of crazy. Okay. Oh. Oh, that's the one. <laughs> Outside. Okay, there's one. Yeah, in the hallway. No ghost orbs or anything. There. And that's just inside. Okay, yeah. Those two can stay, but yeah, let's get one in the bedroom with dots. Um, I think there's dots in there, so let's try to take the ones that are in there, maybe. Alright, good luck. I'll try to run in here and place this down. Hello? Do we have someone in here? Can you talk to us? Okay, ghost event. Ghost sound. Um... Do we want these on the wall? I think that's one of them. Uh, yeah, that's good. That's good. Okay, let's let's run back and watch the, that camera for dots. Gotta stay like out of here and keep it from hunting as much as possible. He could have teleported. Yeah, kill me during that hunt, and he spawned outside of his room. We had issues with that last run, too. The ghost was not spawning in its room. It was weird. Okay. Looking for some dots. Looking for some dots. I wonder if the better video cameras are like higher quality so you can see stuff. Oh, ghost orb. Oh, and dots. Twofer. All right, ghost orb and dots. Cool. So, good night, Dark Soul. Raiju is the one that messes with electricity. Um,. Bay is going to be less aggressive over time. I always get the Y ones confused. Smudging. Do we have smudge sticks? Ooh, wait, let's go try smudge sticks. For a Yure, smudging the Yure's place of death will trap it, reducing how much it wanders. And then a yokai. When hunting, a yokai can only hear voices close to it. Talking near a yokai will anger it, increasing the chance of attack. And then Banshee. The only way we can confirm it's a Banshee is if we hear what's screaming in the parabolic microphone. Without that other piece of evidence, I mean. So. We also need to check for Ultraviolet, too. That's another obvious one. Um, okay. Let's run back in. Check the book. Um. And... Watch for fingerprints with the little thingy, ghosty thingy. We have some crucifixes, so we might be okay. I might smudge the place, too, and see if that deters it for a bit. Alright, you want to grab a glow stick and... Yeah, I guess that's all we need. Well, let's go. Oh my goodness. Itra! What the hell? Itra! That's insane! 200? 200! I'm 
my god, this plant's so cute. What the heck? I've never seen it before. What the heck? Aatrox! You're insane! Thank you so much! What the fuck? Uh, F. And you hold it on, yeah. Uh, hold it on something. Um. Okay. Hello, will you talk to us? Hello, are you near? Are you far? Are you close? Are you here? Talk to us. Hello. Are you there? <laughs> Not getting a spirit box. No oh. Oh god. Okay, it broke. Broke the light bulb in there. Okay. Um, check the windows with that. Still nothing. I guess it hasn't really touched anything in a while. Oh god, crucifix burned. Um... Write in the book! Write in the book! Write in the book! Write in the book! Speak to us! Write in the book! <gasps> spirit box! Spirit box! Spirit box! That's it, that's our ghost. Oh my god, Pog. We fucking did it. It's a yokai! I think you do, Patty. I think you do. You should. I don't know. Yokai can only hear voices close to it. That would make sense, because I talked far away and it didn't hear me. But yeah. It, it seems to indeed get upset when we talk. <clears throat> will you get 50% of the currency, but will they get... Like, will you guys get credit? Does everyone have yokai checked? Yep. Yeehaw! <coughs> Adrock, thank you so much for that 200. What the heck? Thank you. That's insane. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> I started subbing again and was teaching these amazing sixth graders. Oh, I didn't know you were a substitute teacher. That's Pog. I hope you had a good day. Yeah, I'm sorry. I I I was uh, I was indeed sleeping on and off. I did set an alarm for five, but yeah. All right. So how do I know that the challenge was uh, completed? Um, I guess if you go to like the edit challenge mode, that's where I see the one. One out of three. Okay, Paul. Yeah, you guys got it. Sweet! If you got it, or Santos, she definitely got it. Nice. Nice! Um, can you edit this right here? Cool. Again, again, again! Wait, why can't I ready up? Oh, I- we still have to vote on Willow. Part-time job hunt is rough when you don't know if you're going to work tomorrow or not. I get that, I get that. Well, it's like weirdly dark in here. All right, same situation. The breaker is in the basement this time. I hate that it takes them so long to talk on the EMF sometimes. It's frustrating. 
or the sorry the spirit box yeah i wish they would just talk on the spirit box throughout the entire location i missed when that was a thing Bony. Bony. I think the thing that yeah worked the best was setting up random motion sensors and sound sensors all over. That definitely helped. Getting closer to Smash's record. You're insane! You're insane! <laughs> 19, or 1900 to go. Yeehaw! 19,000. Sheesh. Sheesh! Are we ready? I believe so! Let's go! Oh, wait. Uh. Oh, God. Um. Uh. Uh. EMF. I was looking for the thing. Basement. Yeah. <gasps> that EMF was like t making it come over this way so I threw it into the living room oh my god it truly is attracted to things that make sounds okay Is it done already? Just blowing the bulb? Oh my god. <coughs> bulb in the hall? Oh shit, you got out just in time, Patty. Ah! <clears throat> this is an, an aggro ghost, but uh, yeah, it's hard to tell if it's... If it's just because we're at zero sanity or if it's actually, like, aggressive. Yeah, we could. We definitely yeah. could. Smudge the hallway? Is that where- or the bathroom? Yeah. It's- it's- Hello? Is anyone here? Hello? Talk to us. Hello? 
Hello? Oh my god. Bro, sit on the fucking counter. There we go. Has it been touching anything? No idea. Okay, so it blew this light bulb. For One sure. I don't know where a temperature gauge is. Uh, ghost writing. Okay, Pog. Okay, where's the... Touching this door. Fingerprints, 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 right here. Someone take a picture. Do we have a camera in here? Uh, where's camera? Where's camera? Okay, so fingerprints, ghost writing... Um, oh my god. I keep looking for fingerprints, not ultraviolet, which is dumb of me. Um, this one? Okay, so Myling is quiet when they hunt. Yeah, yeah. It's not water dots? G ghost orb? No, it's not that, it's not close for it. Okay, yeah, yeah. Empty. Um, yeah, we need to check that temperature gauge. I panicked and couldn't find it in time. Does anyone know where they set it? Uh, it was that above, uh, above, it was above last time I checked. Okay. Um. Did you take a picture of the, uh, ghost ray? Mm, no. Nor the handprint. <coughs> I have to pay rent? Y'all yeah, definitely... Definitely focus on, on paying rent. So if we can get a camera <laughs> in that back hallway and some dogs, that would be ideal. That's important. That's important. It's what? Other crucifix is gone. Second crucifix is gone. Yeah, it's like here. Hello, hello, speak to us. Are you near? Are you far? Are you here? Hello? Hello? Are you here? Are you near? Negative, negative, negative. Temperature freezing temps? Negative. Wait, wh how did that burn again? Do we have three crucifixes? I think, I think we may have gotten freezing temps, I'm not sure. Rosantos knows, but all he was doing was saying negative, negative, negative. <laughs> I, but I think. Negative means run! <laughs> <laughs> okay, say it again. We don't use Fahrenheit in these woods, so negative means freezing. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so it is a demon! I thought that if we had to come down to guessing it, I would have said, yeah, demon. Yeah, Alright. I want the three for ultraviolet and ghost writing. That makes sense. Because it was pretty loud when I hunted, so it wasn't the mile. Yeah, it exactly. It was walking past us, breathing bubbles. Um, I think we are just gonna skip the last one. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. 
Um, there is the bone in the garage, right? Or was that the last map? Boner. Boner. Did you get a picture? I did not. No, I didn't have a camera. Frick. It must have been the last map. It could be anywhere. Wait, are we still good? I thought I heard it breathe. Humpty. Humpty okay. My flashlight wasn't flickering. Ah. No boner? I guess, yeah. I feel like we're gonna die if we stay in there too much longer. Wait, okay. Demon. Boom. Thanks, Sims. Have fun, Idrak. Have fun. Yay. 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 Maybe we should make money trees. Oh, yes. If only money tree making was possible. Poke Wait, chat. Did we get the one evidence or did we forget to pick it up? No, I, it wasn't in the garage. It was the last run that it was in the garage and we never got it. Let's go. One more challenge. Let's go. Let's One go. One more. We have two dubs. We're we're pros at this. I'm ready. Are you ready? This is making us like good ghost hunters for you know when we have to survive. Emma. Emma. Hmm? Emma. Mm-hmm. Emar. Emar. She's possessed. Oh. Maybe I should take a picture of that. Snap it to her. phone she's always using discord though Wait.
need my flashlight after this drop off. Okay, power is in the garage. I got a photo right here. Yeah, I'm getting it near the bathroom. Four, not five, but. Okay. Set up some sensors. Emma, hey! We're hunting you! Well, actually, it's more like you're hunting us. I think it was it was just hunting for a long time. I heard it in the bathroom. Okay, I'm setting this camera on the kitchen counter. This ghost is pissed. Oh my god, it has such long it has such long hunts. Such long hunts. Poor right, Rosantos. So we've got nothing so far. He tried to hide in the and plants. Did he even burn the crucifixes? Like is it not He I'd... might be wrong on the spot cuz there are two crucifixes back there and I don't think it burned either of them. In the bathroom or just in the hallway? They're in the hallway. I don't I mean did, did, did you guys see her spawn in the bathroom? I saw her spawn in, in the bathroom, like, doorway the first time. Yeah, that's I saw her spawn there, too. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, I don't know. I say let's get some dots set up in the hallway and in the bathroom with cameras, and then go watch for a second. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna try smudging. Okay. You got a dot we too. There, Grab this dot. Yeah, I'm, I'm ready. I'm ready. This one's dots right here. Okay. This little like oval. Yeah. 
Yeah, yeah, grab that. Let's set that up. Still? Where is she? Could she be in the bedroom? I don't know. That's when we get close. Dude, I don't It's the bedroom. Fuck. I think we're okay. Yeah, it's definitely mm -hmm. it's not the bathroom in the hallway. It's got to be one of the back bedrooms or something. Well, in that specific fight or er, hunt, um, we weren't getting like the the flickers on our electronics until we got like past the bathroom, closer to the bedroom. Yeah, yeah, I know. That's that's what I'm saying. That's why I'm saying it has to be one of those because we're we're not seeing her and our shit's not going crazy until we get close to the back of the building. Mm -hmm, so. mm -hmm. I think it might be that back right bedroom. I think so too. Okay, we gotta try to go set up in there. We could smudge one oh, more time okay. and in the bathroom yeah. or in the back bedroom for sure. Yeah, I'm gonna try. All right, ready? Ready. Perfect. Yeah, that's great. That's great. Okay, let's get the spirit box in here, too. And the book, if anyone has the book. Hello, are you near? Are you far? Are you elderly? Elderly? The spirit box went off. Okay, okay, um... Okay, we got- we got spirit box ace. Fuck. Oh, penis! Oh my god, what she spawned fuck, right bro? there! What the fuck? That's where she left us. Bro, that made me almost- <laughs> Okay, 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 um... Okay, do we still need a book? Okay, I'm bringing UV too. Do we have the other crucifix in here? I... there's one on the ground and it burned one, I think, right? Oh, it did? I believe so. She's back. <laughs> yeah, we need to see if we can get that spirit bo or the other evidence, the ghost writing. Oh, okay. Negative. There is a. We got freezing temp, freezing temp oh, nice. Okay. The other crucifix is in the hallway, I guess. Yeah, yeah, we should have, like, that, I think. Okay, wait. So let's let's compile our evidence here. Oh shit. Oh no, who's in there? Ace. No! <laughs> oh no. Okay. 
Okay, she, she came in and turned back. I think he maybe might be good. Oh no. No, you said you did that after you both opened my door. Wait, did he die? No, I don't think so. Yeah, you're good, you're good, you're good. Come on out, come on out. Yeah, we gotta regroup, we gotta figure out what we have. Okay. So we have freezing temps. Spirit box. Spirit box. Let's go watch the cameras for a bit. Make sure it's not ghost orbs or dots. Sorry. <laughs> ghost orbs, ghost orbs. Oh Bye. yeah, yeah. Right there, ghost orbs. Sweet, which would mean it's an Oreo. We're getting so good at this. Ooh, the extinguishing a flame one. Nice. Well, um, I don't know how to tell the difference between the real orbs and the fake orbs. Like, I don't either. He's right, because we technically have the evidence that it could possibly be a mimic as well. Um, so I feel like we should probably find out what the fake orbs looks like. Look like. True, true. I thought in that one other challenge mode that we did, the fast ones that you were seeing, I thought for sure, I was like, yeah, that's the fake ghost orbs. I'm looking it up on like the, the threads. Okay. Yeah, it could be a mimic, Emma. You would know it's yourself. What is it? What are you? Also, hi, Sin. Okay, so according to the threads, actually, there's no difference whatsoever between the mimic orbs and regular oh. orbs. They just say to make sure that you eliminate all of their evidence as possibility. Okay. Because if you get orbs and you have the other two evidence where it could possibly be a mimic, you should make sure that you check for all the other things. Let's so. watch this for a bit for dots then. What else is like, I'm gonna read on what the mimic does. Oh, it can't be dots. Oh, okay. Copycast goes. Okay. So, so we can just send it and hope that it's not a mimic or we can double check that it's not a mimic. What do you guys think? The only thing is, it's, like, pretty easy to hide from it. It is, yeah. So, I mean, we could. I feel like, well, we can go quickly run in and do a sweep of ultraviolet and with someone holding the EMF and then someone also checking the book. Because it did, like, trigger, so there could be ghostwriting in the book. Because we ran away, so we won't know that until we go back and check. I say let's do one more quick okay. sweep. I can take another smudge, too. Okay. I'm going to do glow stick. Are we ready? I think that's it. We just, uh, you want to run and check the book? Sure. You'll focus on the book. I'll do glow stick. I got smudge. The door is shut. Check the door. Yeah. I'm not seeing any. Hmm. Show us a sign. Touch something. Touch a door.
Turn on the light. Oh, did they blow the light? Oh, anything? Did it touch anything? I don't think so. No. Gosh, two of those. Yeah. I mean, I'd say I'm pretty confident that we have got it right. Yeah, we can we can send it. Watch it close the door. <laughs> You're good. You're good. It was just a ghost event. Fucking hell, bro. It was like right on me. And then I couldn't open the double door, so I panicked. <coughs> all right. We all got one real? Yep. Cool. Sending it. Watch it be friggin' mimic. Ugh. <laughs> That'd be annoying. Yeah. All lights do need to be off. Yay! We're so good! We got it! We're getting 5,000. Yahoo! Nice. Weekly done. Did we get $1 for our pictures? Nice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they weren't the best. Rastantos, you went to go hide in the plants. The plants aren't... It's not like a... You gotta break line of sight. They can still see you in the plants. <laughs> That's why you gotta scout them out when you have the setup time. So you know where to run. Alright, are we doing... Oh more? I'm getting so much XP. Yeah. I'm level 30 now, Poggy Woggies. Yeah, we're definitely pro 14. level now. <laughs> yeah, I just I just put it to pro. I think we're ready. Sweet. I think I gained like six levels, so you know. Heck yeah. You were level five or something. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's nice when it when you like purchase the upgrades. You don't have to purchase more of the item. You know what I mean? Like, you don't have to, like, sell your five tier ones and get more. Right, right. Like, they just upgrade. Yeah. That's nice. Six more levels and we'll have the updated temperature gauge. I want to play now. Time for solo rounds. Good luck, Emma. Good luck. Emma, are you at mom's? You could play with us. Rosanto said he's sleepy, or Ace said he wants to eat Oreos. <laughs> I'm spooked. <laughs> Too spooked to eat Oreos? We have all the gear. Yeah, I mean, we don't really need much more than that. When do you get to <coughs> there we go. We're maxed. Hey, yo, let's go. I hope you start feeling better soon, Den. I'm sorry. Emma, hop in here with Let's us. How about for the next the next match? Get get ready and then hop in for the next one, Emma. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I would say it's up to Ace at this point. 
Okay, everyone ready up. We're doing one more as this this crew. All right, get your get your setup all set up. <laughs> I'm such a bad sister. You should you probably have school tomorrow, don't you, Emma? And it's literally like 11 p.m. <laughs> James Marsh. EMF crucifix photo of the ghost. Which, which route did we choose? I don't know. We'll find out when we walk in there. I think it's the one with like the dining table right up front. Same. I do, but I'm wide awake. Don't forget to long press T when you put your headgear on. It turns it on. We've been rocking it off this entire time. <laughs> so as long as that red light is on, your head cam's on. Wait, so how much setup time do we get on pro mode? Zero? None. Okay. Hi, Infinity Kitty. Yeah. Uh, one more trip for me, and then I gotta grab my flashlight. We got these candles here. Yeah, Patty, your head cam is indeed not on. camera.
Hello? Are you Hello? here? Are you near? Hello? Is it me you're looking for? The weird thing about the garage though is like it's very finicky. Like the EMF is like, finicky? Yeah. Are you here? You want the police? How old are you? Do you want us to leave? Are these lockers empty? Yeah. That's what I've been doing. What does that sound? Oh, yeah, in the bathroom here. Let me keep that light on and see if it shuts it off. Oh yeah, we have fingerprints on this door. Oh. Interesting. Hello? Are you here? Are you here? Are you near? Are you far? Are you friendly? I have one right here. Where should I put it? Um, probably... Like, facing the bathroom door? Yeah, uh, maybe. The bathroom is cold. Oh god. Okay. Yeah. Oh, lovely. It's the bathroom, then. Okay, let's move a book in here, yeah. It's not gonna be spirit box, so we can turn that thing off. No spirit box? Nope, it's gonna be one of the other things. Okay, this salt that's by the bathroom still has a use in it. I just, okay, yeah. It steps in salt. Do we get fo footprints? We do! We got UV footprints. Will you write in the book for us? I'm gonna go watch cams for dots. Maybe we should go check for the camera stuff. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I see ghost orbs. Ghost orbs in the bathroom. Oh. Yep. Ew. Someone's getting chased. It went into hunting mode. I heard it go. <laughs> 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 
So it's an Obake. We got ghost orbs. Did he die? Oh. Yeah. Wait, isn't an Obake the shape shifting one? Yeah. Shape shift leaving behind unique evidence. Shape shift ghost. No, I well I have EMF level five ultraviolet and ghost orb. Oh, no, yeah. yeah. Should we go get a photo? I'll carry a camera and just egg it on. We could try. Let's do it. I think there's two more cameras there. <clears throat> camera up there, I think. Yeah, it's a digital camera. I'm gonna hold uh a smudge just in case it starts running at me. Okay. Let's go. Hello, little Obake. Damn. Where are you? Give us a sign. Hello, come out, come out, wherever you are. Oh god. photos though it's so risky getting a photo no, wait patty was on me too damn no. <laughs> damn I thought I closed the door in its face I killed more of the team. We have to go. We got the picture, but we had some teammates die in the process. <laughs> Everyone have it selected? I'm gonna close the door. Yep. <laughs> I think on pro mode, I get. Like, much, much less if I die, too. Sad. <laughs> you don't give insurance at all. Yeah. Still some funds, though. Oh, we never found the bone, either. All right, Emar. Are you ready to get in here? What difficulty do you usually play that on? That was a pretty fast one, too. It was. It was. Yeah, I know. It killed more of the team. We should leave. Normal or pro? Oh, okay. We're playing on pro. Get on in here. <laughs> He's turning into salad fingers. Do you like rusty spoons? All right. Power Lord is made by the same people that did Craftopia. Yeah, that's what someone was saying earlier. Did you get Tanglewood? Oh, perfect. You have Tanglewood picked. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right. Uh, okay. Can you edit your intern cart? My what? My intern cart? Yeah, can you edit button on your cart? 
on my cart? Your card. My card. Oh, like this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can make it yellow, but I don't want a yellow. I want a black to be different. So you can take the badge out and not take it yellow. Yeah, I know. I don't want it yellow. I want it black. It turns it yellow. Where's Santos? Ready up, please. Oh. Uh, if I can see it, ready up, but I can't ready up. Psst, Emar, put that put that good uh mic to use. Your good gaming mic. Come on, then. At what time? Oh wait, she even loaded in. I'm loaded. Oh, okay. Um, what time are you doing the uh, shells tomorrow? Do you know? Um, it'll probably be after I have breakfast and stuff, so maybe like noon, 1 p.m. Okay. Uh, so when I'm in bed. <laughs> sure. But I can do yours I last. Nah, it's okay. You do it when you find time. Wait. Okay. So, what? What is going on? Does, does everything load in when the last person loads in? Yes. Yep. That's weird. You have to wait for Emma. Hey, Kit, turn around. <laughs> there we go! Are you ready for something? Hello! Alright, we're doing a Lori Holmes. It's snowing! Snow! I love that. Average sanity below 25%. Motion sensor crucifix. Cool, cool. I'm gonna have to turn her up, she's quiet. Alright, so our strat, Emma, is to bring everything to the front door so that it's close. <clears throat> you can add this volume in game? Yeah. <laughs> Just your, uh, the pause menu. It's useful. Hi, Stevie. Snowflake, snowflake, little snowflake, little snowflake. Don't forget to put on your headgear and long press T to turn it on. Put your headgear on. Where are you, ghosty? Put this on and, and long press T. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Alright, I'm taking thermometer this time. And camera. Yep. Interesting. Oh, the power is on, by the way. The, uh, front bedroom... ...has breath and cold. 
and the door was propped open. You can, but... Usually, usually breath means ghost. Hello, ghosty. Show us a sign. Hello. Not getting any EMF yet. Yeah. We'll keep this as an option, but we can keep exploring. It could be a shy ghost, too. Keep an eye on that door, Vicentos. Nothing else. In here. Oh, in here? Perfect. Okay, they are touching these doors, but I don't see anything. We find the bone. Looking for a boner, looking for a boner. Looking for a boner, hey, 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 hey. I'm thinking those shoes are it. Tarot cards are the cursed object. They're in the living room here. Yeah, I have yet to find it. It reses someone, right? I found the bone! Solid, solid. Okay, I'm throwing camera on the floor here. Easy access. That's a weird sound. Oh? Uh, you have, you have writing. Oh, okay, that's what I heard. That's what I heard. I heard that on the parabolic microphone. Oh, and dots! I just... So dots and ghostwriting. Dots and ghostwriting. Thank you for the follow. I appreciate it. Um... Okay, 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 okay. Dots and ghost writing. Diogen or Thay? Okay, yeah, let's take the truck then. Assuming we have cameras set up in there. Wait, what evidence do we have? Dots and ghost writing. I think we need better camera set up. Oh wait, here we go. So we're looking for ghost orbs. Oh. 
It's ghost orbs or spirit box. Yeah. 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 It's messing with that computer. We need someone in there talking to it. What are other goals? Sanity below 25. Sanity below 25 and crucifix are our goals. Yeah. The sound sensors are cool. I like being able to hear in the truck what's going on. Oh, she's hunting. Come over to the window, yeah. Oh, oh. somebody's dead. Oh, your sister's dead. No, Amar. Amar. <laughs> Emar! Ow! Where was it, bro? How am I- <laughs> It spawned in the hallway by the kids, like, the baby room. But I didn't- I couldn't see it. Dang, I don't... Mm. We could mess with the tarot cards, get some sanity back. <laughs> Actually, we still have whiskey. Oh, is it cold in there? No, it's, just, it's cold in there. It's cold here. It could just be wandering. Uh-oh. But let's... We have two spirit boxes. Let's put one in the other room or in the hallway. Where's the other spirit box? Hello. Are you here? Hello. Speak to us. Are you there? Hello. Check that cam for herbs. Oh, the one in the hallway. Yeah, that one's that one's a little a little pissed, ain't she? I panicked. She spawned right on me. Yeah, I feel like it for sure it has to be orbs. The hallway one. Check the hallway. I think the cameras are bugged. Hmm? I can't stop the camera. <laughs> I tried to stop the camera. I can't stop the camera. Well, I don't think- I'm gonna gamble on orbs. Which would be they. Well, we can also look at what they were doing. Let's see, they... I'm gambling. Everyone. They... Diogen. I'm gambling orbs. You can run, but you can't hide. The Diogen. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna do one other thing first. I'm gonna... Uh, upon entering the location, Pain will become active, defensive, and agile. It's definitely Diogen. I have to. Pain will weaken over time, making them weaker, slower, and less aggressive. It's so getting more aggressive. Of this ten feet living, you can run, but you can't hide. Cause I closed. I don't know. Expert a lot of energy. Or men will move very slowly when approaching the victim. Hmm. Hi, Stefan. I don't know if it was moving slowly. Uh, I'm, I'm, go I'm going with pain. 
I'm going with Dane. Bye. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Fifty fifty we're almost dead, yeah. Yeah. Okay, it is thing. It got it's just so weird because it it got more aggressive over time, not less aggressive. Yeah, it got and uh the cameras got bugged, so I That I, I didn't match. I, I just I just uh, went for a whim and uh, hoped it was right. Uh, it was. Yeah, yeah. All right. Level twenty-one. You, you be light. Better you be light. Actually, it's electronic, so it might not actually be better. Will you be light? Yeah, no, it's not. The glow stick is better. Um, add more stuff if you want it. We're readying up. Hmm. Hi, Once Upon a Time. Oh, shit. You have such long loading screens. <laughs> uh, yeah. So that's usually what's gonna take forever. <laughs> it used to be me. Not anymore. But if you guess they, you guess it right, so... Let's split up, gang. A space engineer? Lost a bunch of stuff? Yeah, I know. I am, like, I have a money sink today. I have no money. I'm doing. Crucifix, low sanity, and candle genesee? Genis? Je Je Janice? Genis? How do you say that name? Janice? Janice? Mm. How does buying stuff on multiplayer work, by the way? Uh, you buy stuff, but you still, like, you just spend your money to share it with the, the crew. <laughs> you just buy it and add it to the pile. And I've been buying everything for all y'all. With the occasion of a few people throwing it all in. But most of the time, it's been just me. Like, if I buy, do you still get the upgrades when you pick it up? Um, I don't think so. So, like, I would want to buy the stuff... Like, the, the upgrades are just when you load in. So, if... If someone were to buy... some Like, if you bought something that I had an upgrade to, we would be using your version, not my version, because you bought it. So, I should buy all of the upgraded things, but then everyone else should buy everything else. Ideally. Hack your save and set your money? I don't know how to do that, Stefan. Yay, flashy light. <gasps> Wait, where's the power? We don't get to... Does it change? Wait. Oh! Oh, right, right, right. It's, it's the triple story thing. Durr. Okay, let's go! Got like 12k. <laughs> yeah, we need you to buy some stuff, Ace. Hello? Ghosty, is anyone here? 
Come out, come out wherever you are. Ghosty. Ghosty. Ooh, this door was ajar. Give us a sign. I might have found something. <gasps> I found the music box. I found the music box. I can see my breath. That was weird. In the bedroom down here. Yeah, breath in the far. The far bedroom, uh, to the right of the stairs. We have to focus on figuring out what it is before we, like, try to do any of the extra stuff. Just grab the door. Okay, we got EMF upstairs in the far bedroom to the right. Oh, the box is there for whoever wants to use it. If it's a door, how is it a jar? A jar is a fancy schmancy word. You know. Give me a sign. Give me a sign. Where are you? Not seeing any fingerprints or anything. Where'd you say the bone was again? Oh, I already got it. Oh, okay, good, good. Where's the EMF going off? Where's that? Oh. Three, it's only a three. Oh, it just threw something. Unless it was one you Can you draw in the book for us? We wanna see your arm. I'm gonna go get more stuff. It, it keeps on. turning the power off. It really doesn't like light. Okay, we need cameras and dots. Did any of you pick up the book? I don't have a, the book, no. Okay, I got a camera and dots. Also, Emma, use your, your uh, radio so we can hear you. Lightning. I can't, I can barely hear Emma. I have her all the way up and it, it still sounds like, like this. Hey guys. Oh, reminder that if I wake mom up, I'm screwed. That's why you're talking quiet? Okay. Power is back on. Yay. Whoa, that was loud. What? Maybe you should try moving your mic closer to your mouth. <laughs> or turning up the gain? Do you have gain? I don't know. I can just barely hear you. I thought maybe the the radio would help. Because then it's not proximity. I heard that more. Eat your mic. 
lives with mom and has to be quiet. Oh, wait. <laughs> it's my sister! I touched the door. Still nothing. No fingerprints. I heard it sing. Thought I heard it I sing. I think I saw dots earlier, but I'm not sure. I'll go watch the cams for a bit. She's your sister. She has to be made fun of because I make fun of you. <laughs> Alright. But if you make her cry, it's your fault. <laughs> Ooh. Wait. Emma, did you stay in the truck for a while or something? You have higher sanity than all of us. Oh god, it's a little girl. Oh, the crucifix. I did indeed just see dots. Dots. Uh, and then it keeps turning off the lights. Or... Yeah. It really does not like light. It's still not freezing. That's the hallway uh, looking to the bedroom. That's in the bedroom, but all the dots are kind of on the bed. Unless they walk is over the that, bed. Is that the dot moving on the middle there? Is that dot moving in the middle there? What? There's oh! A dot moving in the middle of the screen. I see it at like the top. I think I see ghost orbs, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 I see ghost orbs. And are, did you see dots? Uh, I, I want to make sure I didn't imagine. Yeah, yeah, I saw dots. I'm pretty sure. I saw it in the other camera, though, not this one. This one doesn't really have a clear walking path that you can see, especially yeah, if it's I, a kid. I, it can't be a, it can't be a choreo anyways, but... Yeah. I saw dots here. I, I thought I... Yeah, I thought I saw dots when I were in the room. So... And I went to the one. Okay. Messing with that door again. Um, it does not answer on anything. It might actually be a rival. Spooky. Well, that time I didn't see it exit. I don't know if you're always supposed to see it on dots when it walks past the dots, or if it's just sometimes that it appears. Oh, no, okay. That's for sure dots. <laughs> That's for sure dots. You yelled at her and made her cry? No, I didn't. <coughs> Thanks, ghost. Yeah. Um, okay. Oh. 
Whoa. Why does it keep doing that? What the heck? Okay, and we're not getting ultraviolet, so I don't think it's a banshee. I'm gonna go back, back in. <gasps> With more San- Oh, where Santos died! Oh no! Where Santos died. Oh yeah, ghost orbs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I was saying before. Oh yeah, I want to be my super cat. What else do we have? Just ghost orbs and dots? Yeah. And we're we're not getting ultraviolet, so I don't think it's a banshee. We're looking for EMF level five, ghost riding, or freezing temps. I think we all need to run back in there. Um let's take some sanity medication. I was the lowest, although you're also at like two percent. Come on, got us. There's more whiskey over there for you, Emma. I'm at forty percent. Okay, I'm gonna take another then. Patty, do you wanna take another since we were at zero? Yeah. Alright, let's go. We need to look for freezing temps. We need to look for freezing temps, check that ghost book or reposition it. And try to get EMF level five. We could smudge for more time if we wanted. Negative, it's negative, it's freezing temps. Ooh, pog, okay. Freezing temps. It's a year. -a. Yuri's have been known to have a stronger effect on people's sanity. indeed what we had. Get the ghost to blow out a firelight. I feel like that's fairly easy. Yeah, we just have a light one in there. Yeah. Monka S, Monka S. <gasps> Good night, and Fred. Sleep well. Sweet dreams. See you tomorrow. Thanks for hanging out with us. We can march if it. Oh, it just blew it out. Poggies. Easy peasy. All right, we all have URA selected? Yep. Yep, yep. All right. What do you want? Are you a smokey? Like bed, Yay! Oh, this is the first time we've identified a URA and survived, apparently. Level 25. Ooh, 
Ooh, I got an upgraded parabolic microphone. Oh, I wonder how much better it is. Because that first one really dims your hearing for everything. Um, I got a thousand months for that. That was pretty poggers. I think for the two rounds, but my mic is having more issues and I need some sleeps. Okay, good night, Emma. Thanks for playing. Yeah, I gotta go to sleep too. It is indeed late midnight. <gasps> Thanks for the games. Thanks for letting me play. Glad we ended on a W. True, true. And we got that challenge mode done. Challenge mode was fun. I've got some jobs ready for you. Challenge mode was extra fun. Oh, the dailies and the weeklies. Take three star ghost photos. Fifteen times. What the heck? Collect bones. Boners. Survive with only the starter items. <laughs> Challenge mode was hide in the corner. I liked that. That was fun. I liked getting to hide from the ghost. It was it was always pretty easy to hide from it, but yeah, I like the hiding spots for Willow Street. I think that's my favorite house. I like that the most. All right, chat. Well, I think that might be it for the day. I'm going to go get some sleepies and try to be back at a decent time tomorrow. <laughs> I always say that. We'll see. Um, I hope you guys have... Yeah, sleep now. Sleep now. Yeah, thanks, thanks for the games. It was fun. It was fun. Um, thank you guys for hanging out today. Um, for those of you that are new and lurking here, this is an uncapped streamathon, which means that the stream goes as long as that timer is still ticking. So I actually did, I go to sleep because I need sleep because I'm human, but I actually don't end the timer. Um, or I don't end the stream, I mean, and I pause the timer. <laughs> um, so I put on VODs while I go to sleep uh, to give you guys something to lurk to if you're still awake. Um, if you want to get to know the old kit. Old kit's kind of the same as current kit, in my opinion. Um, in the VOD list, we've got some... Um, we've got, like, new apartment stuff. Me and my apartment. Oh she This is the the VOD where I had that big old spider scare. The popular the popular clip with the spider scare. This is the VOD. Are we getting heavy right ear right now? Yeah, you are. Sometimes it does that. My mic is shit. I really need to change it. Remember a little Minecraft in bed. What? I need to go to bed. I need to sleep. What I do. Never mind. We're gonna play Minecraft instead. And they weren't flexible with the salary at all. <laughs> they were like, we have to I think I'll play this VOD. This is a Harry Potter VOD. And yeah, there's a few, few Hogwarts Legacy VODs. <clears throat> I literally changed my headphones thinking mine died. Yeah, my mic just has this issue. So yeah, if you ever get the heavy right here, let me know and all I gotta do is smack it back into submission. All right, um, change to me speakers.
Nice, nice. Okay. Okay, okay. Um, Ace, how much longer are you staying up? You know what? I'm just going to put it in Hogwarts Legacy. Because I only stay in just chatting for like 20 minutes. So... I'm going straight into Hogwarts Legacy. We're hopping on over there. I'm gonna just leave that. Probably an hour. Okay, because this VOD is six and a half hours. So if you're up in six and a half hours. The next VOD is also Hogwarts Legacy though, so we should be okay to just leave it in Hogwarts Legacy tonight. Okay. Um and you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna freaking do it. I'm gonna just set my alarm and wake up even if no one's talking in chat i'm gonna wake up and i'm gonna get ready earlier tomorrow okay i don't know about 5 a.m early but it's gonna be early i'll probably set my alarm for like 6 30 with a with a uh a prepare to get on stream and get ready at 7 a.m we'll be here well when i set my alarm for five this morning i started typing in chat and uh, I was like, I don't know if I could do this. You know, just like, just talking about how early it was and no one was typing back. So I was like, fine, I'm going back to sleep. Fuck this. <laughs> uh, but then, yeah, I ended up waking up later and checking chat and Jeff, Jeff responded in chat. <laughs> Cause who the fuck is awake then? But I was telling you guys, I was telling you guys. <laughs> uh. <clears throat> yeah, I'll set my alarm for 6.30 today, which means I'll probably lay in bed for like 30 minutes. Snuggle in with my cat as long as she doesn't puke on my bed. Five is lunatic, it is. I know, I know. But I wanted to like nap and fix my schedule. That was the plan. But yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll plan for a 7 a.m. start time. Okay? Okay. All right. Cool. Let's get our pinned message. When I get up for school? Yep. Okay. Four AM for me. Oh yeah, if you're on West West Coast time. It would be yeah, you're an hour early than I am. So if I get up if I start stream at seven, it would start at six for you. I'm good old mountain time. And I think I think there's only one time zone to the left of me. Pacific, right? Yeah. Yeah. Pacific. EST. Six is sleep time still for me. That's fair. That's fair. What do you want? Do you want to say goodbye? Do you want to say goodnight? Or are you just sitting there? Staring at me. Kitties are ready for sleepies. They're ready for sleepies. Yeah. They're ready for sleepies too. Kitties are gonna say goodbye. They're gonna say, hey, it's time for sleepies. We go night night. Go night night. We go sleepies in bed, and I'm gonna try my best to not throw up on mommy's bed tonight. Right? Right. <sighs> yeah, each rock got the big dono. The big dono. I was in the middle of spooky phasmo, so I couldn't give it all the attention it deserved. <clears throat> but yeah, he brought the timer back into the triple digits. <laughs> yeah, we're over 100 again. We're back up there. We're chilling. All right. Tomorrow, 
Sims 4 shell challenge tours, okay? I'll probably start around noon. So we'll get up, we'll chill, we'll have some coffee, breakfast, you know, early kind of cozy vibes. And then I will finally tour the shell challenges tomorrow. All right. Let's go to this screen. Let's make sure our window capture is working properly. Mima, Mima, Mima. Mima, Mima, Mima. Sim shells, like it's a it's a thing. If you want if you want more information, it's here. It's like the shell of a build and then people make it pretty and then I tour the pretty but finished builds of the shell that I gave them. It's fun. I like it. Um all right, chat. Good night. Sleep well. I will see you tomorrow morning bright and early. Um or whenever you decide to tune in tomorrow. Um yeah. All right. Night night.